Hello? Oh my god, am I loud? I'm so loud for me. Hi, Chad! Hello, hello! I'm, I'm like really loud for myself. That's crazy. How are you guys doing? Hello, hello! Hi, Kwai! Only day of the year you can be sure it's fireworks and not gunshots. Oh my god. You're not wrong, you're not wrong. Two years. It was so lovely meeting you at VidCon and showing you Thank the you, Tia. I'm actually going to go through all of the VidCon stuff today. Um I have I saved the story to tell you guys. I only told the story to a specific so sick, RN, and I just group of people. The world hates me that, does, that sounds weird. I only I only told this to like some of my friends. But this story, oh my god. I have a story that I want to tell you that I saved for this stream. But also, I am going to look. I'm going to look at all the VidCon stuff today. Um, there, there's a picture up there as well that I wanted to show you. Um, but yeah, and then we're gonna play Little Nightmares. But I want to talk a little first because I haven't been here in a while, and I want to see how you guys are. And I, you know, want to tell you how I am. I recommend earplugs. I don't have earplugs. I wish I did, but my last ones were chewed up. By a gremlin called May. Oh, that's Zuko. Um, <laughs> I missed you too, chat. It's just okay. Where do I start? Thank you. Uh, thanks for the subs. We start by reading the subs. Thank you, uh, Sari, for the 12 months. Thank you, Juliet, for the tier one. Thank you, Jem, for the 22 months. I'm feeling pretty. Thank you for the four months. Burrito, thank you for the prime. Astral Toad, thank you for the tier one. Kalagoon, thank you for the 31. Uh, Amy, thank you for the 16. Gia, thank you for the two years. Uh, Sunny, thank you for the 22 months. Sarah for the nine. Thank you, Cozy, for, for Cozy Troit for the prime. Uh, Caroline, thank you for Caroline. Caroline, thank you for the 10 months. Hara, thank you for the 33. And Wixic, thank you for the 26. Thank you, everyone, for all of your subs. I really appreciate it. Um, I okay I haven't been here uh for a little bit and that is because let me make the music a little uh, uh, quieter so and I and I heard this from everyone I've I've talked to a lot of my friends who have moved here to LA and they have all said the same thing which is the first half a year to a year is really difficult and that is just because LA is such a different place like it feels like a different universe once you come to la it's like a you you're in a different universe and it's really really hard to get used to and it's really weird um and obviously i'm really really far away from home and i i've always moved around i've always moved to different countries and it's it's always been hard but i've always you know it, it took me a few weeks to get used to and it's fine i've been here for three months now and it's still not very easy i have to say moving here is very difficult and very stressful and it has been a really difficult and stressful time for me um so that's why i have not been streaming a lot because i've been really depressed like that's bottom line i've been really depressed i've it's been really hard for me to get used to living here um and i've been just trying to navigate you know i've just been trying to navigate just being here for now um so i have to focus on myself a little and like i've been trying to live every day by day and you know survive every day basically um but i still want to be here and i still want to stream and i actually am fixing my google adsense right now which is the thing that lets you earn money through youtube once that is fixed i'm going to uh, upload more youtube videos because i have an editor now who is very sweet and very nice and who helps me a lot with everything and we have so many videos on backlog already uh so those are gonna go out soon i'm starting a gaming channel so i am working on stuff behind the scenes even though i know you guys can't see much merch we're doing merch soon uh i have a really 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 exciting merch drop coming that i put that i'm putting a lot of work in and i'm putting like fully myself in and so are the people who are designing the merch they are all putting their everything into it and we're all really really excited so that's coming out soon um 
so I'm, I'm working on stuff and i'm trying to do stuff but just for you guys so you guys know i'm really sorry that i haven't been live a lot because i was so excited to move here and i was so excited to be able to stream longer and stream more but um with everything happening on twitch right now with all the changes and with me moving here it's just been really demotivating um but yeah it has nothing to do with you guys you guys have been amazing you guys have been awesome and i'm i you know i love posting on my like instagram story i try to be active on there because that's really fun i i read all of your replies to my instagram story i can show you literally all of your like, i'm literally on the tab right now all of your replies the newest one obviously i haven't been but like i read all of your guys's replies to my instagram um so i've been you know i've been trying to keep active there i've been trying to I, I haven't really been posting TikToks, but I've been trying to keep active on TikTok. But like, just so you guys know, that's the current standings of how I am feeling and where I am. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to get better. Um, I don't think I'm going to stay in LA. I'm thinking about just sitting off my lease and then moving somewhere else. Not Still staying in America for sure, but LA is just really expensive and I don't know how worth it is. Uh, I thought it would be, but I don't know. I'm not very attached to this place. So I think I'm gonna next year move to a cheaper place, to a more calmer place. Um, that's gonna allow me to hopefully settle down at some point. I don't know. I, I don't know. Whenever I, I I will set settle down, you know me. I move a lot. But um, I don't know. I, I don't like talking about it too much because obviously I don't want to be depressing much love but I just wanted to let you know what's going on I've just been stressed and depressed but moving and I have a lot of friends here just so you know I'm not alone I'm not lonely I'm not you know decaying <laughs> I have friends here and I hang out with my friends as much as I can um the first year is just hard like everyone said that I don't know if any of you have ever moved to LA or live in LA but you guys can probably vouch for that. The first year is hard. It's tough. And everyone said that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to be uh, transparent and let you know. But n n nonetheless, I think is what you say. Um, VidCon was extremely fun. Well, it was fun. It wasn't extremely fun. It felt very different than last year. Um, I don't know if anyone else has talked about VidCon. But... VidCon, last year it was really exciting. I think because it was my first ever convention and I was really excited and, you know, I don't know, innocent? I don't know. No, that sounds wrong. But I was really excited for VidCon last year. And this year, it was fun because it was close. Like, I really liked the fact that, you know, I... I it took me two hours to get home i could it was a two-hour drive to get home and that was really nice um but it just felt off this year i loved my meet and greet though i loved seeing all of you guys that's what saved VidCon. that's what saves every convention for me i'm not gonna lie the the panels this year i did the, those were amazing as well because i didn't do panels at vidcon last year but this year's panels were amazing and um I'm sorry I couldn't do the second one. If you guys wanted me to see that in the second one, I had a really bad stomach ache um, from the food that I ate at VidCon. I'm just not selling this, am I? <laughs> sorry, VidCon. Please invite me back next year. I actually really, I actually really enjoyed VidCon, um, but I don't know. 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 Um, I, I did get gifts though, and I want to go through the gifts. Um, because again, my meet and greet, meet and greets are always fun. You guys are always so sweet and so nice. Um, I think, however, and I don't know. Okay, if you guys have been to my meet and greets or to any person's meet and greets, isn't it so weird that you like, you queue so long to see this person for like a minute and then you have to leave again? Like, it's so weird to me. Like the concept, the concept of a meet and greet is so strange to me because I feel like, um, I don't know I never know what to say and I never know what to do what to do because I will see you for like a minute I wish I could speak to you guys longer um but we do get briefed um before the meet and greets that we have to move along quickly uh so I can't speak to you mo that long but I always try I always try to speak to you guys longer and like meet everyone but I don't know it's such a weird it's such a weird thing isn't it 
I, I yeah, I don't know, but I do enjoy them. Mm. But I'm excited for TwitchCon. So, okay, TwitchCon Paris. I can't close my bottle. Um, I want to go to TwitchCon Paris. I, however, am feeling a little uneasy about the riots. And that is not just for me going there, because I can stay in during the curfew. But I feel very weird. Um, I feel very weird having people go there for me and then potentially putting themselves in danger. And that a big reason for that is TwitchCon security. Because last year, the security was non-existent. And I am really worried, Zuko. And I'm really worried that if the security is the same this year, that people get like get hurt or put themselves in potential potential danger. So I feel really, I, I I'm very back and forth between the idea of going. Um, it's not that bad in the center of Paris. And that's that that's fair um it's probably also like safer at the convention but what if like i don't know because because obviously there is a curfew and you should hold the curfew but there's always people who don't and i don't want people to put themselves in potential death. and honestly i agree with the riots like dude go on the street and riot like fucking do it i i am the first person that's like hell yeah i went to riots myself like for to fight for justice 100 percent, and i'm not saying anything negative about the riots because because at this point the government is not going to listen or no one is going to listen if we don't act on it and 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 we we have seen in the past that the like that a lot of the times the only way that there's change are riots so i'm not saying anything about the riots go out and fight for your cause and and honestly but it's like 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 i don't want to put anyone in danger and if someone is coming to if, if someone is coming to this convention to see me and they're putting themselves in potential danger i am just i would feel so bad so i'm very on the fence like because because i know my meet and greet is booked out like i know so many people want to see me at my meet and greet so i want to go um so yeah i don't know yet um right now i think i will go like right now my stance is i will go i know it's this weekend i know it's so like close um that's why i don't wanna um pull out because it is so close if it was further away i probably would pull out but it is so close so i would feel so bad as well for people um who spent money you know who, for people who spent money on this and i i do kind of wish that twitch i don't know i know twitch is a big corporation and they're not going to cancel it because it brings them money and they you know we know twitch i can't talk too much trash about twitch on twitch but <sighs> i know it's it's a really it's a really weird situation for me because i want to go but then i also don't want to go um but right now my stance is that i will go so yeah um i've been to paris when the riots started and it was safe just need to be careful in what part of the city you're going yeah i have heard i definitely i have heard from a lot of people that sorry my chair i've heard from a lot of people that the area where twitchcon is is safe um but th th that doesn't even fully matter to me because like people are going to be in paris people are going to go out in paris like it's a convention people are going to meet up people not everyone can afford staying at hotels or airbnbs in those areas so what about the people who booked their airbnb like months before and then they're in a in a part of town where it's really dangerous what if they stay at the convention for, until it ends and then they have to go back to a part, part where it's very dangerous you know like i've been thinking a lot about that and it does worry me a lot uh so if you are going to twitchcon 
in Paris, please be careful. Um, and I don't know, maybe leave earlier or, or uh, I don't know, stay with people. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's very worrying for me because, because like, I think the creator, like the creators are going to be fine. I'm going to stay in a hotel really close to it. So I will be fine. I'm, I don't have to worry, but I'm worried about the people who do have to worry. I don't know. I don't know. That's it. I don't want to dwell on it too much. Right now my staff is, I'm, I am going, um, but please be careful. Um, anyways, I, should I go through, should I go through all the VidCon stuff? Hi Sophie, miss you, I miss you too. Hope you're doing well. Move to Brighton? I just moved away from Brighton. I've lived in Brighton. But I can't stay in one place for too long. You know me, chat. You know me, I've moved around so much. <laughs> moved around so much. I can't stay away. I can't stay in one place. Um, I don't know where to start. Okay, I actually do know where to start. Um, <laughs> this little guy was given to me. I'm. I'm just gonna. I haven't looked at anything else. I. I know these two. Because this one was given to me. Um, someone made this chat. This one was given to me before my meet and greet uh the day before after my panel isn't that crazy someone made this uh so i knew down this one i i carried it around for the entire day um i was walking around with my friends uh in the hotel and i, I just had it with me months. the entire day so i, I know this one stream. and this one America was given to me you right thank you i for the 23 uh this one was given to me as well at my meet and greet um this little guy and he's a little okay for the person who gave it to me i'm so sorry but he's a little uh roughed up now because may actually stole him she stole him out of the box she thought that she thought this box was hers thank you stigmax for the prime um she thought this box was hers so she's she stole him and she played with him so he's a little rough up now um but see see she's already coming look at her she's eyeing it up she's eyeing it up Where is she? She's right here. She wants to have it. Um, so yeah, this little guy, um, from Liz. I'm so sorry. He's a little rough, but you know, I guess that's what to be expected. That's what's to be expected with a cat. Um, oh, chat. My stuff from the UK was supposed to arrive on the sunday after vidcon and apparently it's running late i think i got scammed i think my stuff stuff is gone at this point but apparently it's running late um and all of my other gifts were were on that ship like my clothes were, were on that ship my gifts were on that ship all of my sentimental stuff all of my records my vinyls i collect i collect vinyls i correct like records and they're all on that ship um everything my other desk everything was on that ship and i think i got scammed at this point because and my, my pc my pc was on that ship on that pc all of my stuff like all my data i've it's gone so i'm really worried <laughs> i really worried lawsuit maybe i yeah i think i might email them and i don't know i'm just really worried um because it was supposed to happen uh it, like it was supposed to be here and then also before that i had to pay them twice I paid them twice um, because the first time it didn't arrive and then I paid them another time and then now it's too it, it's like running late so I'm a little worried about my stuff um, and I'm really sad because all of my other gifts were on that and I wanted to put, to put them all here um, but these ones are gonna go on there so you're gonna see this so you're gonna like see all the stuff down here that you gave to me but yeah sue them i might i don't know i don't know how to do that chat i don't know how to be an adult that's probably why i got scammed because i don't know how to be an adult i don't know how to do these things i i'm a covid i'm a covid covid grow up i'm a covid adult i became i became an adult in covid <laughs> i don't know what to do things <laughs> uh, anyways um oh this one 
this one I do remember as well. Someone gave this to me and took a picture with me on, with this, which is so cute. They made it themselves. A little, little cat hat. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. I actually saw a lot of people running around with these hats at um, VidCon. It was so cute. I saw like a whole, like like whole groups wearing wearing like their little hats. It was it was so cute. They were all matching, and now I can match with you guys as well. And I love it. Thank you, Nate. Less than three. Less than three. Less than three. Thank you. I appreciate it. And yeah, it is a great hat. Um, we have more plushies. It has a note. Wait, I don't want to break it. How do I get this note out without breaking it? There we go, got it. It's sunny outside but thundering. Ooh, I love like the summer storms. It's a Bluey dog? Oh, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. I never watched Bluey. Um, I don't know if Bluey was a thing in Germany. I don't think it was because I've never seen it before. Um, I've only watched one episode. Well, not even one episode, like 10 minutes of an episode a few months ago. Because uh, that was because we were scrolling through the TV and that was on. And we were like, let's see what Bluey is all about. And then it was like really weird. Um, okay. Um, hi, Nikki. Thank you so much for all that you've done for your fans and for being so sweet and understanding. Augie, look at the back. P.S. Sorry for it being on a napkin. I had nothing else. No, it's so fine. I think it's so cute. I think it gives a character because it is on a napkin. But I love that. I wasn't even going to say anything because I think it's so I think it's so cute. Thank you so much, Augie. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's functional. It's, it's, what is it called? Resourceful. It's resourceful. Don't worry. We have a, we have some fan art here. I, th and I think I have seen, I, I have either seen this art or this artist on Twitter before. I'm pretty sure it's with Zuko. Little baby bird, Zuko. Oh, he's coming. Oh, little baby bird. He's looking at me. Oh no, he's laying down. Are you okay? I think he's I think Zuko is I think Zuko is going through it um, because May is becoming a teenager right now and the the way I the way I, <laughs> the way I um, know that is because I googled I so May has this oily pat she she has been having an oily tail she has had an oily tail for the last few weeks and I was like why does my cat have an oily tail like is she just not cleaning her tail or like yeah, you. Or like, what's going on? Can you see it? No, you can't. She, like, her, like this area is just oily. And I was like, why is her tail oily? Did she sit in something, just not clean it? But it's been going on for weeks. Uh, so I googled it. And apparently it's pretty common hey, in um, teenage Maine Coons to have an oily, like to have oily patches and an oily tail. So I know that she is a teenager now, which means Zuko the adult has to has to like deal with a teenage little kitten um, and i think he's going through it a little bit <laughs> so bless him <laughs> um anyways we got a little a little card dawn sky i i'm pretty sure i have seen this art before thank you so much for the art i'm planning to hang all the art on behind us um so i really appreciate it thank you and we also have a letter <clears throat> Dear Nikki, first of all, thank you for all the cat pics. <laughs> Zuko in particular is so cute and he seems like such a sweet cat. He is. He is little baby man. And of course, I will post I will post cat pics all day of the week. I actually thought about starting a Snapchat cuz all of my friends are doing Snapchat stories now, and I thought about doing Snapchat stories, but like just on my cats like just do just because i have my i have my little twitter and uh, not my little twitter my little instagram where i post a lot of things already but i thought about just i don't know 
and then and then like also like some of my life so i i was thinking about mixing both of my instagram stories together of like my cats and then just my life but i'm, I'm thinking about it because i know that a lot of people do it and then maybe maybe if you guys are interested maybe um also uh, your new haircut and color is amazing thank you it really suits you uh, but let's be honest you could pull up any color and cut cat <laughs> thank you i appreciate it i think this one this one has been my favorite so far thank you nathan for uh the 15 you should do cat snaps okay I'm, I'm i'm gonna think about it i'm gonna think about it dark blue when i actually had dark blue hair for a really long time please don't tempt me because i have been so tempted of dyeing my hair blue it's like it's getting there i've i want to cut my bangs i think that's the next thing i want to do i want to go back to bangs um but i've been so tempted um to dye my hair blue for like months now um but blue is so hard to get out blue is such a difficult color and i've had blue for so long i had blue for like years um but maybe i'll dye like the blonde bits blue <gasps> oh no my hairdresser is gonna kill me but maybe doing the blonde bits blue okay don't tempt me anyways um <laughs> i love your streams i think that's a uh i think that's a given uh you and your friends are so amazing you're dynamic and the energy you bring to the content is so nice i love how open you are with mental health it's super inspiring much love and best wishes dawn mars sky uh p.s i love you oh my god i'm so sorry it they they did a little typo and i can't i can't make out what it is um i love you love the oh i i hope you love the prints i made i hope you love the prints i made i added a business card in case something happens to it and i can get you a replacement oh my god i'm so sorry i couldn't read it i really appreciate it i'm glad you put it into into like a protective folder as well uh i'm gonna hang it up behind me it's so cute i really like it thank you so much okay let's look at the next one I dyed my hair blue in October and you can still kind of see it in my hair. I know, that's what I'm saying. Blue hair does not leave. It does not leave. You can still see that I dyed my hair blue 10 years ago. That's a lie. You cannot because I cut it off, but you could. We have another little... Oh, this one is so cute. I think Squishmallows should do these. There's Zuko and Maya Squishmallows. And I think Zuko, uh, I think Squishmallows should do these. I also got the this Squishmallow. Hi, Nikki. It's nice this Squishmallow, to there's another Hope one up there. Um, I got this. Thank you. Uh, I got this at the Squishmallow Pit. There was a Squishmallow Pit that you could jump into and you could grab Squishmallows and then you have to get out. But you just basically jump into a bunch of Squishmallows. And I was so scared at first because I got flashbacks to the ball pit. <laughs> the infamous ball pit. But it was nothing like that. It was actually really good. Um, talking about squishmallows, we have a little squishmallow here. Zoe, Zosia. Hi, Nikki. I wish I wish they didn't, because because a lot of the letters and obviously the gifts are together. So I don't know whose letter is whose and whose gift is whose. But I'm gonna read them all. Um. Oh, I saw this one. Someone painted me on a rock. Isn't that so cool? Isn't that so cute? Oh my god, I love it. It's so cute. Okay, let me read another letter. It's so cute. Oh, wait, it's not even a letter. It's a drawing. Oh my god. Oh, do you know what this do you know what the style reminds me of? It reminds me of the Edna and Harvey games. Wait, I love it. That's so cute. Thank you so much. Uh, oh, I <laughs> this is actually mine. I actually I actually got this one. <laughs> I went to Amesy's meet and greet. Um, I didn't go into the line. I, I was behind it. Um, so I got an Amesy an Amesy signed card. Uh, these 
ones. Okay. These ones. I got a bunch of bands for like all of my friends um, with their names on them. And I wasn't able to give them all to them. I might bring them to TwitchCon Paris and see who is there. But I wasn't able to give them to all of them. I gave them to a few people. I gave them... I, I think I gave Toby one... I think I gave Crumb one because they were just there, um, but I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't able to give all of them away. But I'll try and do that. There's also a little. Oh, what are they called? Uh, low patch, low pet shop. <gasps> what are they called? Oh my god, I used to be obsessed with these when I was when when I was younger. What are they called again? Littlest pet shop. Littlest pet shop. Oh my god, I used to love these. Oh my god, this is bringing back memories. Thank you so much. That's so cute. Um, okay. Oh, this one I also got. Thank you, Sky. Um, LPS, yeah. Um, this one I got as well at the panel and not at the meet and greet, I'm pretty sure. Um, because I, I, I remember talking to my friends about it. Um, we have little stickers. And then a little band, a little wristband that says Nia Chu, which I, I really like these kind of like, these ones. They're really fun. They're like rubber, but not they're like strong i don't know but i also got a d20 i got a d20 in it um which i can use that thank you thank you so much um i got a lot a lot a lot a lot of bad wrist a lot of wristbands a lot of bracelets i got a lot of bracelets um which you know what what i have to say i really like that we all like have the same color like you know all of them have this they're all pink and i love it because it's my favorite color so thank you guys thank you so much um i do however i i don't know i think i told you these wristbands i always say wristbands bracelets these bracelets um they're very dangerous to have because may oh there it is she loves them she plays with them she wants to play with them so much she loves these these bracelets i'm trying to well she's never broken one so i don't think she actually like <laughs> there you go i don't think she actually will break them but obviously i'm trying to keep most of them away from her so she doesn't break them but like yeah she's never broken anyone she just really loves them i think she loves the noise that they make i think she really likes that oh you can't see her um i got even more i got even more so many more so many bracelets i always say bra yeah bracelets so many bracelets um some of them are like this and then some of them are like this. Thank you so much, everyone, for making these. Um, they're so cute. I really like them. I really like them. I can, and I cannot have enough of these, so I really appreciate them. They're like really... Oh, wait, this is actually... This is my hairband. Um, they're like little friendship bracelets with all of you guys, and I think they're so cute. Obviously, I can't wear all of them, but I have them all with me, and I do, I do wear some of them uh sometimes so whenever i like go out and i'm like hmm, my wrists are kind of bare i put one of these on so i really appreciate them hey little, little baby do you want to play with them do you want to play with the bracelets yeah you do yeah you do obviously obviously it all also smells like you guys so she's always really intrigued when i come when i come came home with this box she like she was so intrigued by it we have a little a little keychain i'm not sure if i if i should i'm not sure if it's like this or if i do if i unravel it but i think it is like this 
right? I'm gonna put it on my um on my handbag. I'm gonna put it on my handbag. It's perfect size for my handbag. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh thank you, Sour, for the prime. I appreciate it as well. Um someone asked something that I wanted to that I wanted to reply to, but I forgot. I I forgot what it was. I'm so sorry. How did I for wait, let me try and find it again. Um uh, I'm so sorry. I actually forgot I actually don't remember what it was. Um how was how was it with Sam and Kobe? You're feeling good? Yeah, it was a couple of months ago at this point, and I am feeling better. Um, but I've been I've been a lot more aware of like things happening around me. Um, and I definitely do think that I have like I definitely do think I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But I definitely I definitely want to explore it more. I do think that I am more prone to seeing things. Um, so I really want to explore that more. But I don't know. I have I've been I've just been more aware of stuff that ha that's been happening around me. Uh, it was really fun though. I would love to do it again. Right. Um Ooh, we have this one next. Let's see, let's see. What what do I start with? I think I start with the letter. That'll probably explain what all of this is. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh, she's so curious. Oh, she's so curious. She's like, what is this? Does this smell like someone? Oh, this person probably has a pet. Because she's obsessed with it. She's licking it. Okay, let's see. Hi, Nikki. I just wanted to let you know how much you mean to me. Your content is so comforting and your talks, honesty about mental health have genuinely helped me a lot. Out of a bad place thank you so much for what you do you are such a light in the dark and i'm so thankful for you lots of love mooney thank you mooney uh gift contents um if labor la labradoit palmstone seashell from the east coast glass charm i made earrings of a frog wearing a cowboy hat hey, oh my god what you all are valid and loved no matter what you are or what you identify as i agree thank you Fisip, for the three months i appreciate it wait the sad thing is <gasps> the sad thing is i don't wear earrings because i have gauges so i can't really wear earrings i can probably hang them around here though We'll see. We'll see what kind of what kind of earrings they are. Because if they're like little circles, I can probably hang them around them. But we have a little a little chain. Oh my god, that they made themselves. That's so cute. Ooh, the the flowers here are 3D. I love it. Um and then we have the shell from the East Coast. That's across the country. I'm always scared that there is something in here, but I'm sure there wouldn't be. At this point, it's probably dead. But I'm always scared that something's in here, but I'm sure there's not. I'm sure there's not. Maybe that's why May is so obsessed with it, though. And then we have the, the stone. It's safe. I did. I dropped it in my lap, and my lap is. My lap's good. And then we have the Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I can I can probably even like form these to so that they fit my my gauges so that they stay in my gauges. Oh my god. I I these are so cute. I always get so jealous when I see people wearing like really cool earrings because 
I can't and I haven't been for a year like I've had I've had my gauges for like a decade now so I kind of want to get another ear piercing but the problem is this is where you wear your earrings you don't really wear them like further up so I was thinking I was thinking about getting like a piercing further up and wear my earrings from there but I just you can't really do that <laughs> <laughs> that'll just look weird <laughs> thank you uh toilet smurf for the prime i appreciate it can gauges get reversed i don't want to reverse them because i do really like my gauges i do really like them i am happy i have them and you know i can do this i, I if i'm really cautious like inside maybe but then also if they're like round if they like close i can I can wear it closed so what i was thinking because i this is the second time i got earrings from you guys and i was thinking about getting like a different attachment and like moving them over so that i can wear them i'll think about it i'll see what i can do but these are really adorable thank you so much they're very cute ah, my nose all right oh okay we have some more bracelets these ones and this one which is really cute that's really cute oh wait no that's not a bracelet that's a that's a keychain thank you asmo i hope you have a good day as well that's a keychain oh i love it i'm gonna put it on i don't have a key uh like because because my apartments don't have a key um so i'm gonna put it my wallet i'm gonna put it on my wallet because it's a little too small for my bag i'm scared that it'll it'll rip but this one this one will fit because this one's sturdy but this one i'm a little worried so i'm gonna put it in my wallet um are we going to play something we're gonna play little nightmares later i still need to play little nightmares too ah uh, i think i i remember i'm at a really bad spot right no i got through the bad spot okay <gasps> Oh, wait, wait, that's... You can't really see that. Wait. Ah, it's a Zuko and May. May, do you want your bracelet? Do you want your bracelet? Here you go. You can have your bracelet. She's sniffing it. Oh, she's playing with it. Oh, she loves it. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you so much. Let me read your letter. Hi, Nikki. I didn't get uh, you for a meet and greet, which is very disappointing, but I'm still writing this just in case I can somehow get it to you. Oh, well, I got it. Thank you. Um, I want you to know that you've helped me through s some really tough times and that you're a huge comfort to me. I'm quite insecure about my self-image. Some days I'm really good and confident and happy, and some days you are just really, really hard or bad. Recently, I've been having not very good days. You've talked about how you struggled with self-image issues and that you've gotten a lot better with it. It's really comforting seeing someone that I really look up to having some of the same things I'm currently struggling with. In one of your TikToks, you said that you have came a long way mentally, and now you can look in the mirror and say, I did a really good job today. I look cute today. And you said to us that we will grow into liking our faces and that we will get be it will get better that tiktok seriously saved me my face is the main thing that i don't like about my appearance and so you saying that was such a reassurance i think about it every day and it's truly the light at the end of the tunnel for me anytime i'm having a bad mental health day i think back to it and i think about how you were going through the same things but you made it out so i can too i know that hearing healing won't be linear and no matter how much I heal there will be bad days but i'm okay with that i'm human you're human we're all human but i know that it'll get better because of the reassurance you've given me i'm learning to love myself the way i am and be patient with myself because of you and i thank you so much for that i don't know where i'd be right now if it weren't for you i'm gonna cry <laughs> oh my god um no matter what happens me and the rest of you fans will be here supporting and loving you Remember to take care of yourself and to treat yourself with kindness. <laughs> oh my god. Um, that's what you've always wanted for us. 
and that's what we went we want for you whether you need to take a break for days to years we will be here for you when you come back thank you for everything i love you sarah oh my god sarah <laughs> oh one second wow that was really sweet and i'm really glad that i could help you with that a little bit and i know i know times can be hard i know it can be hard uh because you know been there done that still still am there still going through it and like you said there are bad days and there are good days but it, it, it got better i can say that for sure you know as someone as someone who is even to this day quite insecure there are it'll get better and you'll be fine and actually today i had a really bad morning like like a really bad morning to like you know you know when you just sometimes wake up and you're like all my friends hate me and i'm this horrible person and um you know you just you just you just blame yourself and you tell yourself that everyone hates you and 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 you know you know it you've been there and i had that today and then i i i looked back on you know why do i feel this way and i kind of realized that i just need a reason to be sad sometimes but my friends don't hate me and you know even though they might have done something that might have triggered that that is just m me like trying to reassure my insecurities and that's not always good and i realized that and i could stop myself and i could you know reflect that and you know i i i felt a lot better after that but i i remember there were times where i would just where where i would freak out and you know thinking that all my friends hate me just isolate myself and not talk to anyone for days and you know nowadays i choose not to talk to anyone for days but back then i did it because i thought everyone hated me um but it, you know and in, in that way it gets better and you will i think i think i think what what what, what it is for me is i started to understand my insecurities and that way i could make them feel less feel less severe like when i was when i like even like two years ago or one like last year um i was so stuck in my own head and everything was bad and everything was horrible and everything was hard and i and i didn't know what to do with myself and then i started to understand my insecurities and where do they come from and what triggers them and like looking back on it every single hard thing that i've ever went through i have i i have survived and i and i became a stronger person through it and and i don't know i don't know i'm just i'm just i don't even know if that makes sense but but it, it gets better and it gets easier and even though they are harder days and harder times you will begin to understand where they come from and what they do to you and what starts it and what triggers it and even if it is something really hard that you think you will never get out of and you think it's the end of the world you've been there before it's just a different font now it's just it just looks different now but you've been there before and you've gotten out of that and there have been better days and there have been better people and there have been better times and better you know you you've been treated better and it's it's just getting through that day by day it's hard but you get there if that makes sense and if you are insecure about your face i'm insecure about my face i have insecurities i don't like there are days where i look in the mirror and i like i'm like oh my god i hate my nose and then and then i look I look in a different mirror and i'm like oh my god i love my nose <laughs> you know like you you can't trust that because body dysmorphia and face dysmorphia is so ingrained in our society at this point because everyone uses face up everyone uses filters and and it's not good for you and people will always see you in a different way that you see yourself but people usually don't really care if your nose is too big or your lips are too small or your eyes are a bit wonky no one really cares 
they're all way too hung up on themselves. So you're fine. You're good. Uh, and you'll make it through it. Because so have I. And I had a really, a really bad time with my face and my body. Still do. Um, but yeah. It gets better. For sure. It gets better. <clears throat> if that makes sense. Anyways. Um, next one is this little cute box. This cute little box that I got. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, they're little pins. Oh my god. Wait. These are pins. Oh. They are so neatly packed. Look, me. Oh, do you like it? They're like, oh my god, they're so cute. Little pins. I want to find, I want to find something. Wait, do you think I can put it on my microphone? Wait, do I, am I going to break it if I do that? I think I will. I don't want to break it, but I kind of want to put it on my microphone. Wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, guys. Sorry if that's too loud. You saw it on TikTok? <gasps> you did? Oh, my God. That is so cute. Oh, my God. Wait. Oh, my God. I want to send you something. Where do I send it? So, funny story. Funny that you mentioned it. Um, I actually do have a P.O. box that I am paying for every month, but I have to fill out a form for it. And you guys know, you guys know anxiety and lazy and depression and stuff like that. It's hard to fill out forms. I have to fill out a form, which means I have to, I have to like, oh, they even got like the little pin buttons. It's fine. I don't need them. I have this now. Um, it, it's, it's hard to fill out forms and I have to fill out a form and I have to give them all my information and it's really hard to do it for me right now but I have a PO box that I'm paying for monthly and I swear to god once I get the motivation to finally fill out this stupid ass form I'm going to give you the address that you can send stuff to because I, I would love to do PO unboxing like streams and videos <clears throat> but yeah When's the merch coming out? So we don't have a about the merch. Uh, I'm going to say this like very early on and I'm going to keep saying this for the people if they don't see uh, hear it. But the merch, we don't have a date yet. Um, but the thing about the merch is that um, it's going to be order like pre or pre order. Like you're going to order it and then it's going to get produced and then it's going to get shipped. Um, so it's going to take a few months until you actually get the piece. Um, and that is mainly because we are, and it's not a Revolt thing. I'm not working with Revolt and I'm not working with a company like Revolt. The company I am working with, they're doing like the Yard merch, like Ludwig's podcast merch and like other people that I can trust. Um, so you can very much trust that you get your pieces once you order them, but it's going to take a, a while for them to be produced and to be shipped because they're going to be like special pieces um i'm going to put a lot of work into it and i want it to be something really special um you know like you know my last drop that was already that was already like something different but this drop is going to be like my heart and soul <laughs> you know um and for that it's going to be special pieces which means they are going to take a while for you to get um, but you will definitely get them. I'm giving you my reassurance that you will actually get them. And I'm working with a company that I trust um, and that other people trust with, uh, that other people trust as well. Um, so yeah, uh, just so you guys know. But the merch is going to take a little bit longer for it. Um, we're we're working on it. We're currently working on designs. Um, we're, we're going to then go into sampling, which also is going to take a while. But I want it to be good quality. I want it to be... Uh, comfortable and i also wanted to fit hopefully 
all sizes and all bodies. Um, I'm going to have my friends wear it. I'm going to have my friends um, like like what is it called like like try wear it like wear it for a while and tell me how it is and then change things. Um, obviously, I'm going to make you know I'm gonna tell this I, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I'm gonna make another skirt and I want the skirt to fit on um, masculine frames as well. So I'm going to have my male friends or my ma like friends with a masculine body. I want them to to wear it for a bit to see how it works um and then obviously feminine as well because i wanted to look good on both bodies but it's a long it's a long process and i'm working on it but um because of that it's going to take a little uh longer for me to get it to you guys but it's going to be good and i'm very excited thank you so much for the sub uh baby i appreciate it thank you for the prime anyways let's do the next one i have another another little art another little little art very cute thank you so much i think the this the small ones i might all put into one frame um but i i don't know how to put it in the background yet but i'll figure it out actually let me before i continue i have this one i got this one as well i already put it in i've already put it on my shelf um because the cats kept like playing with it um, but I got this one as well, which is so cute. Thank you so much. The outfit, the outfit reminds me of the rats outfit from, uh, from Jen Loss. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. See, she's already coming. She is, she's a little monster. She's pushing her boundaries right now because she's a teenager. So she's trying, she's trying everything to get on my nerves. She's like, hmm, how can I, what can I destroy today? That's why I'm keeping everything away from her. But she hasn't broken a necklace yet. She hasn't broken, not necklace, a uh, bracelet yet. Oh my God. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> what? I've never seen it in this color as well. Wait, I can redo. Wait, 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 wait. I can redo my... Wait, how how is my how is my meme again? I don't know. I don't remember. Do you guys have to? I don't remember how it was. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one, Brower. I can redo that one. All right. This one's a little hard to read because it's like black on purple, but I do have my glasses. I don't have my glasses here, but I'll do my best. I'll do my best without my glasses. <clears throat> Dear Nikki, I want to thank you for always making content that inspires me. You're always kind and open about what you've been going through. While I know you can't share everything, it makes me feel less alone with what you do. Um, I have bipolar disorder, type 2, and I know it's not the same as BPD, but it's very months. similar. Wow. Thank you, Iris, for the 17. It made me feel a lot less alone and angry at myself for being the way I am when I saw you talking about having BPD. I've had a really hard time accepting my bipolar diagnosis because it's a different because it's different from a lot of my other diagnoses as well it was really comforting to hear that i'm not alone with the hard times i go through due to the nature of bipolar disorder so thank you for sharing that with us as an audience i also sent you this painting oh this is the person that did the painting oh my god Thank you so much. Oh my god, oh my god. <clears throat> uh, I also sent you this painting. I really hope you like it. I do like it. It is my first painting I've completed since my high school classes. I wanted to do a project where I do portraits of each content creator I met at TwitchCon. Uh, yours was the first one I finished. Ah, I was going to put you in the same clothes as the reference, but it was going to be hung up in the in the cafe i work at oh my god and my boss would have a heart heart attack i thought you'd like it 
regardless though i do i wanted to bring you a smile to your face like you've brought many to mine with your amazing content i know you have a support system but if you ever want to talk or need someone to lean on i'll be happy to help i signed this letter with my username on all platforms so contact me if you want thank you so much your froggy tattoo buddy oh oh this is the first oh my god thank you so much for the gifted subs um uh blah, blah, blah. uh kind of also for thank you so much for the five gifted i appreciate it and also thank you so much rue this person they actually showed me their little frog oh they told me i don't know if they showed me the froggy or they, to they just told me they had a froggy tattoo but i remember this this is my froggy tattoo mine's colored i tried my best to draw it hello froggy that's so cute i love it i don't think i've seen it but i remember them telling me that's so cute um thank you for the five gifted sorry i i was so like in reading but i really appreciate it thank you so much and thank you for uh, subscribing as well all right next one we have another little drawing just me in my gen loss outfit very cute i appreciate it you know i never thought red suited me but i actually think red red may, might be might be not that bad not gonna say it's my color but it might not be that bad also chat do you like my shirt i got it at the bring me the horizon concert it's ollie covered in blood <laughs> nice concert it's a nice t-shirt it was a nice concert as well okay um got another oh my god we got another letter and a drawing i always love when you guys make me look better than i actually do <laughs> in your drawings i'm like wow that's so flattering <laughs> how was priest the veil oh my god okay chat before i continue I went so I went to two concerts this weekend. I went to Pierce the Veil and I went to Bring Me the Horizon. It was the it was the used and Pierce the Veil and it was Bring Me the Horizon and Fall Out Boy. Um and the Pierce the Veil concert, oh my god. So I used to listen to all these bands when I was a lot younger and I always wanted to go to their concerts, but I was never able to because I didn't have money and it's it, it's a lot harder to catch a concert overseas especially because they're more expensive blah, blah 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 um so i was never able to go to a concert um and then this weekend i was invited by emma to go to both of the concerts and um the pierce lavelle concert oh it was so sweet it was so wholesome um i forgot which song it was but there's one song where he brought one where he brought someone on the stage uh he brought a fan on the stage and he um he brought this fan on the stage who had like a really old who was wearing a really old piece of uh, shirt and he sung to them and obviously they were crying and it was really sweet and it was very sweet and there was Hope like a confetti everywhere country. like raining from the sky and it was like a movie um and then afterwards he brought them back on stage and gifted them his guitar and it was so sweet and it was so emotional and it made me it, it just I don't know it was just the, it was just the best moment of my life it was so amazing i wasn't even the person but it was just so sweet and i really liked it um and then the bring me the horizon concert was fun as well i just wish it was longer but obviously it was Fall Out boys so it was their longer concert but it was great i really enjoyed it it was fun i really want to they do that every concert it's so sweet oh, i really want to go to more concerts especially like that kind of music i feel like they're so much more wholesome because i used to go to a lot of concerts growing up but i always went i always went to like local rappers like german rappers and it was all like sad rappers like because i've been listening to sad music since i was like since i since i had a music taste basically um so it was always like you know like still like the same kind of genre just different and like local people and it was fun and everyone like like berlin i'm gonna say berlin has so much more concert etiquette than la la concert goers i'm sorry but they suck 
um so i do miss that about berlin and german like going to a concert in germany and even like i went to a concert in belgium i went to a k-pop concert in belgium and even they they were great um like people there but i don't know i don't know la not that great with concerts like the people uh, but i want to go to more concerts like that because they're just so much more wholesome like the people on the stage like they're huge they filled out like stadiums like th those were stadiums those were the biggest venues i've ever been to and they were still like i wish i could meet all of you you guys are so sweet you guys are amazing it's like oh my god it just feels so nice it's just so sweet what con what k-pop group um the rose uh i don't know what they i don't know if they're still m making music i don't know if they still make music but i went to the rose in belgium a couple of years ago yeah i know they're a band i know they're a band but they're still they're still in that same genre are they not thank you markaboo 38 months pop. the 38 i appreciate it my thank you so dying, much and i really want to drive it into a wall and get a new one not like this oh my god <laughs> <laughs> whoa 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 that scared me for a second um good luck <laughs> good luck what car should i get when i eventually get my driver's license i don't know i don't know anything about cars and i'm scared what's a good car an airplane it's a bit big isn't it a pink porsche why is everyone saying a porsche a jeep oh my god i would love to have a jeep because i just think the idea of having like a big car like a like being on top of everyone and like it's so cool like imagine you have to step on a step like on a step before getting into your car so cool but also i will crash this and i live in la parking spaces are tiny here there are no parking spaces so i will probably break if i had a jeep i'd probably break it so quickly so i probably need a smaller car but it would be so cool it would actually that would be that like i'm not a car person i don't know anything about cars but that's probably my like like or a range rover like the big ones that's probably like my dream car a mini minis are scary though minis are so scary though because they're unsafe that's the other way they're like so scary everyone's saying a pink one i probably would get a pink car <laughs> imagine okay okay imagine this right i only wear black and i look like this imagine me stepping out of a pink car like like wouldn't that be so cool wouldn't that be so fun <laughs> oh yeah i don't know i don't know yet i'll think about it i'll see I, I can't get a like expensive expensive car though chat because one i don't leave my house like this that car will barely be used and two taxes <laughs> and three i will crash it <laughs> not crash it just break it just like scratch scratch it i won't actually i hope i will never get into a car crash A go-kart. <laughs> a motorcycle? A motorcycle in LA? Hell no. I will, I will actually die. Like, that'll be my death sentence. With the drivers here? The drivers here are awful. No, I do need a... I, do, I will need a secure car. I was thinking about getting a German car just because I am German and I trust German cars. Like, I think German cars are, like, very trustworthy because <laughs> we know how to do cars. Um, so I was thinking about getting a German car but i don't know how taxes are here i feel like i think foreign cars are more expensive tax wise <clears throat> but yeah i'll see i'll think about it we'll see chat i'll let you know i'll let you know um it'll take a while anyways i don't know it'll i have i have three more months until i can apply for one and then i have to actually go through the test and who knows how that will be i found out however i found out that i don't have to 
have driving lessons i just have to write the test which that's so stupid because i really need driving lessons <laughs> I will still go through driving lessons because even though I don't like I don't have to do them I still need them I've never driven a car in my life and that would just be way too unsafe <laughs> putting me on on a road <laughs> without any practice anyways I was I was looking at this um it's by Kenny thank you Kenny uh, your stream, your streams are so comforting and you inspire me to be more confident please never lose your hope and kindness Thank you so much, Kenny. I appreciate it. If you like crochet stuff, if yeah, you, you like crochet stuff, if yes, what would, what would it be? I like all crocheted stuff. Crochet stuff is fun and cool. Um, I think I told you about the story last year. Um, last year at VidCon, I got this little lipstick holder, like self crochet, like crocheted little lipstick holder. And it was so cute. It was my. It, it was such a cute gift, and I really loved it. It was one of my favorite gifts ever, and it's the only thing I ever lost. And I, to this day, feel so bad. It's been a year, and I still feel so bad because I lost it. It's the only thing I ever lost, like the only gift I ever lost. And I'm so sad. So if you are that person, or if you know how to do lipstick holders, I'd be happy to have one because I'm so sad about losing it. And I'm so sorry that I lost it. <laughs> okay, we have another little letter. Uh, dear Nikki, I know you are most likely very busy and tired. Bitcoin is soon it is so exhausting. But if you are talking, if you are taking the time to read this, I really appreciate it. You have helped me through so many things. I cannot thank you enough. I genuinely don't know if I would still be here without you. I know that probably sounds dramatic, but whether I went somewhere dark i would go back whenever i would went somewhere dark i would go back and watch you and it worked calm me down so thank you you saved my life i'm really sorry if any of this letter sounds creepy i really don't mean for it to be also sorry it's so long i really hope you take care of yourself mentally and physically you are so funny and you always bring me a smile bring a smile to my face when i'm down if you don't want to respond that is okay but if you do you can contact me through my Discord or my Insta. Casper, thank you, Casper. I really appreciate it. Don't worry, it's not that long. It's actually quite short. It just looks long because it's a big letter, but I really appreciate it. Thank you, Casper. I can hear people shooting off fireworks already. Oh. Not here. I haven't heard any fireworks here yet. Actually, the only comp Hi, the Nikki, only thing about the concert, um, the Fallout book, um, in 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 particular was that they were shooting fireworks and it made me cry <laughs> it made me it made me really scared but it was still fun Fall Out Boy, oh my god their stage was so cool they had such a cool set like stage design i really liked it it reminded me of like fnaf mixed with alice in wonderland that was their stage design this weekend it was very cool and like every song it would change we have another little drawing thank you so much um hi nikki i love uh all of your content thank you so much for being such an amazing person love getting to see all of your new outfits you are such an inspiration to me with love emma thank you emma appreciate it hi may i'm also scared for the cats I hope they're not i hope it's not too bad for them i think this is may's first fireworks ever because zuko has been through new years twice now because he's two and a half years old now but it's gonna be may's first fireworks ever i got invited to a couple of parties today but i'm not gonna go because one i'm depressed <laughs> two i don't want to leave my cats alone and three i'm scared of fireworks so it'll just not be a fun time for anyone if i just show up and start being scared thank you frank for the eight months hi frank thank you thank you we have another little drawing thank you so much you guys are so sweet 
I'm gonna put this in into the frame as well. I don't have a frame yet, but I'll put it in there. This is random or I don't know if it's random or real, but your eyelashes look good. They're fake. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Thank you though. I don't know what they're called because they're just like cheap ones from Amazon. But if I find them, I'll let you know. But they're just cheap ones from Amazon. I've never really seen the point in spending a lot of money on eyelashes because you lose them you lose them anyways and a lot of them look the same to me so yeah <clears throat> oh sorry <coughs> what brand are my cats <laughs> someone just asked what brand my cats are what brand are my cats? They're designer. No. <laughs> no. May is a May is a Maine Coon mix. Her dad's a Maine Coon and her mom is just like whatever. And then Zuko is a Siberian ragdoll mix. <laughs> they would be designer though. Like especially like they would be I think they would be like a middle. Like, they wouldn't be high-end, but they wouldn't be low-end either. They'd be, like, middle, because they're both mixes. Like, they're both not pure. Pure? Yeah, pure bread. <laughs> so they'd be, like, middle. Like, like you know, still high-end. Zuko's definitely high-level. Zuko might be, to be fair. I mean, their personalities are. They have great personalities. Um, hi Nikki, my name is Raven. I've been watching your streams for over three years now. You and your content have saved me. These, this person again has such a nice handwriting. <laughs> I have so much I want to say. I think it's because it's similar than me. <laughs> I think I just say that these people have nice handwritings when they're similar than mine. Um, I have so much I want to say, uh, say to you and yet I've been struggling to figure out how to say any of it at all. But like my handwriting is like this but messier. When I first found your streams, I had a perfect life according to everyone around me, except I had been bottling up a lot of trauma that had been eating at me. So a few months after I found your streams, my life fell apart. But your stream and your chat became a happy place. I could escape too. It took three years for my life to return to semi-normal again. It hasn't been easy. It still isn't. But you're always, you've always been there, bringing me some joy into my life. There have been rough nights countless times that your streams have helped me through. There was one time where I was having a panic attack waiting for some friends so I put on your stream and instantly felt more comfortable and less alone. You are one of the people who have inspired me to try and become a therapist. Your content also inspired me to get back into art and drawing. I'm not very good but I drew you a photo. What do you mean you're not really good? It's so cute! Thank you so Thank you so much. Um... I mostly do digital art, so this was a change, but I'm proud of it. I just been really good for my mental health. I'm also learning German because of you. What I'm trying to say is that you've really helped me a lot. Thank you, Raven. Aww. Thank you, Raven. I really appreciate that. I hope you are doing better. and I, I'm sure it will get better. Our times happen, but it'll make really good times. We know that. I had a whole rant about it <laughs> just earlier. <laughs> me and my rants. Me and my rants chat. Don't you love them? I don't want to break this. They gave me like a really cute little letter thing and I don't want to break it. Ah, there we go. <clears throat> Been following for almost three years oh my god it has been almost three like the lover host has been over three years now yeah when did I, that's crazy May, nearly three and a half that's crazy three and a half years damn all right let's see i never know if i should read the letters first or look at the gifts first but we just had a long letter, so I think I'm going to look at the gift first. 
COVID really messed with time. It really has. <gasps> I know what this is. Chat, I know what this is. And I am so excited for it. I actually have been thinking about this. I saw this on Twitter. This is a little locket. Do you know what this, what's in here? Do you want to know what's in here? Oh! It's my little babies! Oh my god, it's my little babies! Oh! So I can always carry them with me. Wait, can I put... Yes, I can put it over. Oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> um, Nikki. Hi, Nikki. I've been watching your stream since 2020. It has been so fun to grow alongside of you. From watching you build a chair on stream to seeing your amazing acting skills and generation loss. It makes me so happy to be a Neatra fan. <laughs> I know you love your cats, and from your tweets, you miss them when you leave them. So I made you a picture locket with your cats in them, so you can have them every, everywhere. I can't wait to see what more amazing things you accomplish in the future, and thank you so much for being there and being an inspiration to so many people like me. Oh, that is so sweet. Little locket. I love it. <laughs> Chat. If you if you don't know if you are if you're thinking about gifting me something and you don't know what to gift me gift me anything that has to do with my cats and I'll be obsessed. <laughs> Obviously the other gifts I really love them as well like every gift I ever have been given I'm so happy and thankful for it. But <laughs> if you don't know what to give me if you're like hmm what will she like? <laughs> That's so sweet. You guys like my locket, it's my kids. <laughs> yeah. If I ever if I ever start dating again, I'll be like I'll be like, yeah, so you have to be okay with the fact that I have two kids though. And they're like, uh Okay. And I'll be like, yeah, you wanna see them? And they're like, I guess. They're like, aren't you 21? And I'm like, here they are. <laughs> That's just my cats. <laughs> But it's true, they're my children. They actually are. Oh, this is for Ron. Person gave me they gave me two little little things. I love how <laughs> I love the size difference in them as well. I'm gonna give it to him. I'll I'll, I'll bring it to TwitchCon. And then give it to Ron. <laughs> but I love the size difference. <laughs> That's so cute. Thank you. Um, let me read the letter as well. Who's older, Zuko or May? Uh, Zuko. May is younger. Oh my god, they gave me a little Polaroid of themselves. Oh, there we go. Um, hi, Nikki. I'm Jess, the girl with the brown hair uh, and braids. I hope you could give Ram the bracelet. I really wanted to meet him. It was awesome meeting you um p.s i hope you enjoy your bracelet thank you yes i will definitely give it to ron don't you worry i will put it in with the other bracelets to give them to the people all right oh wait are these the same ones? I keep dropping it. <laughs> it's the gen loss. It's the gen loss. That's so cute. I don't know if this is for me or for Ron though. I don't know if I if it's for me or for Ron. There aren't many more letters. That will tell me if I should give it to Rando. Oh, this is just, hey, Nikki, maybe we could talk in someone's Discord. I'm sorry, I don't really add people on Discord.
unwrap it i think it's just protected i don't know i can't tell i'm really scared that i will break it no 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 i, w I don't want to break it the other one this one no 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 i don't i don't think i should um have i seen this one yet It's a tiny parrot. Oh my god, he's so cute. I don't want to break him though. Something broke off and I hope it's nothing. It doesn't look like anything that belonged to it. I'm going to put it in here so I don't break it. Oh my god, wait. Oh! Wait. This sadly broke off. I think I have super glue so I can super glue it. But these were supposed to be the discs. They sadly broke. Let me try and figure out. They sadly broke. But if I have super glue, I'll super glue it together. And then it'll be just as new. Thank you so much. Is there anything? Yeah, there. Oh, it's a little bee. There's a little bee in here as well. And then there's just some pieces of the disc. I'm going to keep them in here so I... Wait, actually, I'm going to put them all in here so I know where they are. And then I'll, I'll put them all back together. We have a little drawing. Oh my god! It's all my different hair colors. That is so cute. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much. Wow. The Nikkiverse. Oh my God. It's the Nikkiverse. That's crazy. Um, Dear Nikki, I just want to say thank you for everything. Your content has helped me a lot and I've been watching you since 2020 so it's one of my dreams to meet you you've made such a huge impact in my life and saved me so many times so thank you so much also i think your hair is really pretty i love you and thank you for being such an amazing person and saving my life i gotta get the self promo in <laughs> and then put their their insta and stuff in oh thank you so much do we have a name Will, thank you, Will. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. Thank you for drawing the Nikki verse as well. <laughs> okay, we are we're very close to the end. We got a little sticker. That's cute. Do we put it here? No, I think I want to keep this free for maybe other things. Maybe smaller stickers. All right, I really like this. These are aren't these so cute here? Wow. They had a vision. Um, okay. the, the last few bits are all like little bracelets and stuff. Oh my god, wait. That's so cute. And then we got these ones. I want to get, you know what? I should get like a hand or something to hold all of these, like in the back, so that May doesn't kill them. But she doesn't. She doesn't break them. But she can't have all of them, you know. Some of them are mine. Um, we got little bracelets, and then we got a necklace. This one is so cute as well. It's not focusing. It has rose quartz in it very cute oh we have <laughs> this little duck <laughs> that was given to me at the meet and greet and another little duck what is it with all the ducks do, do they have like a specific like meaning because everyone's giving me ducks i wonder then we have this one as well which is really cute thank you so much 
And then we have this one. Ah! Oh, I heart Jen Laws. Oh, that's so cute. They're just cute? I mean, they are. I do agree with you. What is this? It's just crush. Okay, and then we have one last letter with a little bracelet in it. Let me just open it. This is the bracelet. Thank you so much. And then... Oh, these are, these are just our socials. Thank you, Artemis. <gasps> Artemis. I remember Artemis. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for all of your stuff. I'm going to put it all in the background after the stream. But for now, I got to put them all back into the box because we will play Little Nightmares. We have a game to play. We have a game to finish, chat. So let me put everything back into the box. Thank you, Tan, tonight. I appreciate it. Pog. Thank you Thanks for the, for the 14. cozy vibe. It means a lot. Thank you. So does your support. Oh my god, so many things. <laughs> I don't want to break them. Do you find the dye hair is it still wig? It's it's dyed. This is my actual hair now. But it is already growing out a little. So I probably need to get it done again soon. I don't know. I think it's like all every three months because these are extensions. And this is the first time I've had extensions. Are the extensions heavy? They are heavy when I wash them. When they're wet, they're heavy. Um, but other than that, they're not really. They're like made for my hair. Because my hair, I have a lot of hair, but it's very thin. Um, so I have very Russian hair. That's what my hairdresser says. Because she's Russian. Um, and she says I have very Russian hair. So we went to a specialist who specializes in Russian hair. Um, so... I I got Russian hair and it's it's not heavy it's only heavy when I when I wash it when it's wet <clears throat> nose um okay because we didn't finish Little Nightmares we know we didn't I don't remember an ending Based on what you said about your cats, Nikki, I have some bad news to break to you. When you got your cats, you gave up the right to own bracelets. They all belong to Mai and Zuko now. I know, I know. I mean, Zuko doesn't really care, but Mei definitely does. She loves her little bracelets. Um. Okay, let me turn off the music. And change the category. Okay, for the people who don't know what Little Nightmares is, how do I explain it? <laughs> um, it is a. I think it's a, it's a story game, but it's also a platformer. I think. Um. It, it's not a horror game, but it has a very eerie vibe to it. Um, it we're playing Little Nightmares 2. Little Nightmares 1, I'm not going to spoil it too much, but obviously this is the second game. Um, so we were playing as um, 6, which is a little, I think a little girl uh, in a like yellow raincoat. Um, and we were stuck on a boat full of people who wanted to eat us think spirited away but like creepier um 
and we escaped and now we're playing little nightmares 2 and we're playing as chat who are we playing as spirited away makes tim burton real that's a good explanation mono we're playing as mono um a little guy and we are going through a city right now uh, and we just found out that our friend that we had is six the person that we played us last time uh so that's everything that we've been doing um the city still is full of people who want to kill us because why not we're children for and for some reason they don't like children um yeah i think that's pretty much that's a that's a good explanation Yeah, it's kind of a puzzle game. Um, we just where where are we? I don't know. I don't know where we are now. We're in a new ha like in a new environment now. We just got out of a school. We were in a school full with people who wanted to kill us, and now we're um, I don't really know in a house. I think full with puppets. Because why the hell not? I hate puppets. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I already hate this. I already don't want this. Oh wait, let me let let me let social media know that we're uh moved on to on nightmares too by the way um um in case people don't know the nightmares time and i'm not just doing that to stall you know me i would never do that i would never stall because i actually got scared no 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 never wouldn't do that. Thank I'm you. sorry I had to say this. When I said I had bad news about your cats, it looked like you a look of panic was on your face like I was going to say something Yeah, because you can't just say don't that. Worry, Nikki. Your cats are fine and bundles of joy like always. All right, got it. Where's the case from? It's just a case of I case that I put a bunch of stickers on. It's nothing, nothing special. <laughs> okay, how do we do this now? I guess I gotta punch them with this rod. God, there's so many. Come on. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Good to know that six is going to help us there. Um. <laughs> oh, no. First time here after seeing my Sam and Kobe video. Welcome! Hello, hello. I'm glad you enjoyed the video enough to be here. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. 
Welcome to the welcome to the Nikki Nietzsche community, where we kill hands and I have fun. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Please die. <laughs> Not you. The hand. Oh my god. What an awful thing to join to. so close as well oh, they're like taunting me it's so rude it's so rude why is this so difficult i hate them They're like taunting me. I also really don't like them. <laughs> this game is a lot harder than the first one, and the first one was already difficult. But they, they, we have combat now. It looks like you could use a hand. Please don't. <laughs> I'm gonna punch them myself. I'm gonna go through the screen in a second. Thank you, cool. What a sub, I appreciate it. Oh my god, chat, thanks for the sub goal reached. I appreciate it. Ugh. Come back. You come back and you're annoying. You're annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I think. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And you. Uh, uh, die. Yeah. Yeah, you die. You die. Okay, he's dead. I can't hit him again. Mm. Uh. 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 I love the little, ah! <laughs> the little screams. Oh, oh, I really hit my hand there. <laughs> I wish it was their hands. <laughs> Thank you, uh, I see a little MGG. It's getting a little out of hand. You're right. You're right, it is. Chad, I've been playing so much League of Legends. I don't know. I don't know why. I just had to tell you. Like, I, like I've actually been playing so much League of Legends right now. And I thought I'd just tell you. I, I thought I'd just come clean. Um, it's been fun. I'm trying to hit Diamond this season. Thank you for telling us. You're welcome. I thought, you know, you know, it's just important that you guys know. This stupid little hand. <laughs> this stupid little hand. Get up. You, why? Why? I feel like it's so, I feel like it doesn't have a pattern. If it had a pattern, it would be so much easier. But I feel like this game just, uh, this not this game, this hand just doesn't have a pattern.
Obviously, obviously no therapist about it. I have talked to my therapist about it. She said I'm, I'm okay now. She said, oh, I'm, I'm... She doesn't know Nico that is. <laughs> she doesn't know what I'm doing to myself. <laughs> Okay, I hate to hit twice. Oh my god, okay. And another one. Boom. Ew. Ew, I really don't like how this hand is moving. faces okay, I can't jump up there Nikki is the type of person who would talk to her therapist about League and end up convincing them to play League 2. Oh god. Oh god, imagine. Excuse me? Excuse me? Nikki got me into Valorant and started a three years addiction. Kari, please never play League of Legends. You'll get so addicted. to the other room what I want to see ever again in my life. What is this? He's just going back and forth now. He's just a little silly. He's he's not just a little silly, he's very silly. What a silly guy. What a silly guy he is. Bye, silly guy. Bye. He's not just silly, he's goofy. <laughs> True. Why is he following me? He doesn't know I'm here. There's no way he knows I'm here. How is he attached to the top? <gasps> he's not! He's just crawling on the top! He's not attached to the top! You. Me raiding my kitchen at 3am. <gasps> Talking about it, oh my god. My meal prep got arrived. I'm gonna have to pick that up in a second and eat some food. What time is it? Oh no, I have time. I have time. He's part of the Spider-Verse. I hate him. I 
I want him to be go. I never want to see him again. He makes me so uncomfortable. I do have to go this way. I'm gonna follow six. I don't even know if I have to go this way. Wait, he's creating the oh. army of... this way. I don't know. I'm guessing I do. I'm guessing I have to take something to, um, to throw at the button. I love this game. Hi, Koji! I am right now not very loving this game. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, I'm not loving this game. <laughs> right now, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> Probably the artists who made these, this game. It's horrifying, I agree. It's very cool. I'm so careful because <laughs> I died so much in the other one. <laughs> I don't even want to know what his like killing animation is. I'm too scared. coming with us why is she not coming with us that's why okay that's why okay so maybe I hide under the bed Wait, 
strange. Okay, I'll just run. Why can't I go up here? Okay, I do think I have to go up there though. I need to go to the very. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. forgot how to climb up. <laughs> I haven't played this game in a while. Wait. Wait, there's no way I can do that in time. There's actually no way I can do that in time. Oh, he saw me again. Good night. Oh no, he didn't. Okay. There's no way he saw. Six. He didn't see six there. Okay. message oh okay nothing important this this is so bad <laughs> hello Bingo. Oh no. That's loud. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, this is like a like where dead bodies go. I don't know why I was so excited about that. Kill me? Morgue. A morgue. This is awful. So many, like, dead people. Oh, 
Oh, there's a key. Okay. I see. Did we get past Bob? Is that his name? Yeah, we did. Okay. Get that key. I didn't even see this. I didn't even know we needed the key for this, but we got it. dead bodies I do wonder I, I'm so intrigued in the story I'm so excited once we actually get to like explore the theories and everything that's gonna be so fun because I'm so intrigued no so intrigued by how by what what this is gonna be no wait what can i not jump there Maybe I move a little here. There we go. Hello? No, 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 go up. Oh. Up, up, up. There we go. <laughs> Hey, at least he's hygienic. He's washing his hands. Necessarily brutal. No, I don't want to leave six alone there, though. Actually, I don't even want to be in this room. <laughs> Why is this person alive? The plug? I can't just kill a person. 
guys, I can't just kill someone. Oh. Oh my god, everyone's saying do it. Okay, chat. I don't know where the plug is, but I'm gonna make a poll. I'm gonna let you guys decide. I don't know where the plug is though. Oh, it's there. Oh, so I can... I guess I can jump? I don't know how to do it. But I think I have to do it anyways. Actually, I, I, don't, I don't even think this is a decision that you guys can, that we can make if yes or no. I think I actually have to do it. Yeah, I think I just have to do it. to go. Oh, I need this. Oh. I feel really bad. We just killed someone. And he's like, he's like, he's like so sad about it. Oh shit. Okay, we need to run. slide for some reason. It's not letting me slide. I'm s I'm worried that it isn't different because if I if I run, where how do I? Yeah, I can't slide. Like it's just crouching if I slide. Yeah. Let me let me just check because I do definitely have to slide there. Um. Keyboard. Yeah. Control. But if I... If I run... I can't slide. Yeah, it's not letting me. Run. Slide. I don't know why. It's not doing it. If I just press control, it's just gonna I'm just gonna I'm just crouching if I just press control. Run slide. Um Um, try the left shift and right control. Uh, 
so I tried this one. Oh, it's not working. The shift isn't working. Okay, wait. Shift? Control. Oh, this control isn't even doing anything. I don't know how to how to slide. Is shift not working at all? No, sh it's it's working. I'm running. Like I'm sprinting here. Oh, okay, now it worked. Okay, wait, 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 wait. How did I do this? How did I do this? Why did it work in that direction but not in the other direction? Wait, why is it working in this direction but not the other one? In this direction it's working. But it's not working in this direction. It's just not working in, in the in that direction. That's weird. It's working like this. And then I go into the other direction. And it doesn't work. Wait, what? Where you tap it? I'm holding it. I'm holding control. It's it works like this, but it doesn't work like this. I'm doing the same thing. What if I put it into C? So now it works in this direction. And it works in this direction. Okay, I just, I'm just, I just have it on C now. It just didn't work in control for some reason. Yeah, now it works. Okay, good. Oh no, not so great. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh my god! to go to the front. <laughs> Training order is no, no chat. There are a lot of there are a lot of like characters that I'm okay with you simping over. Not this guy. Not Bob. Come on, guys. You have we have standards here. Oh my god, I keep sliding into. It. I know six is so much faster. <gasps> Wait, what happened to my camera? to my camera Wait. 
Okay, I'm back. I'm too slow again. I'm too slow again. I have to be really fast. Sorry chat, I forgot that my crouch was now C. Oh, okay, okay, never mind, it's saved. Okay, nice. I'm so glad. Wait! I thought I messed up there. Hello? Can I please? There we go. Bye, Bob. She's like, she's a psychopath. Six is a psychopath. She's literally warming her hands on this burning man. She's a psychopath. Wow. Oh my god. She's just a little cold. Cold blooded. I mean, I don't know. got even hotter. <laughs> oh my god, Jack. I can't with you. horrors they're going to are we going to experience next probably the mannequins because that's all he's been doing build mannequins and you know me i love my little mannequin i don't know why i got a soda but you know maybe we're thirsty Was this a church? No. Like a temple? No. Oh, is it like a waiting room? Oh, I think we're in a hospital, aren't we? Wait, are we leaving? Oh, we're leaving. Oh, nice. Oh. Oh, wait. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I need to change this again. <laughs> Wait, shift is already used? Huh? Okay, I guess we're using C as crouch now. Mm -mm. 
<clears throat> All right. Let's continue wherever th this adventure will lead us. Someone lost their shoe. Let's bring it back to them. Maybe that's our next mission. Bring shoe to person. I use control? No, I didn't. No, I didn't, chat. No, I didn't. Control. Oh, you. Oh, it's control. Okay, that makes more sense. I use shift and it's control. My bad. German. For the euro, I appreciate it. The hell is happening? <laughs> what is happening? What is this? Oh well, he's definitely dead. just moving on so people are like die like 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 killing themselves dying for some reason what is happening they were too close to the tv yeah this is what happens this is what your parents what what your parents tell you what happens when you sit too close to the tv my flashlight again did i have one wait did i have a flashlight uh blah, 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 no i don't really oh no e the gift of sob. I don't think I should go any further. I don't think I should go any further. I think I'm actually gonna die if I go any further. What do you guys think? Okay. What is happening? It's a TV! We've been having things with the TVs! Oh! 
<laughs> I like the music. That's a really bad idea. Is this a is this a commentary on modern media consumption? Cause like come on, I get it, but like alright. <laughs> I listen I listen to music when I well, I don't bathe when I shower. Is there any way for us to go like only halfway? Like here? Oh, do we jump? Oh, we jump. joining us I don't think six wants to that's understandable girl boss oh oh okay you know you could just join us you know six I'm I'm just saying if you joined us we didn't have to go through all th this you can just do what I did. No, okay. right here we're meeting Bob's family I don't I really don't need to it was enough meeting him is there a story to this game I mean this is kind of the story it's very like cryptid wrong wait I want to hold hands again she doesn't want to hold my hand anymore that's really sad what happened <gasps> mm, maybe we have to go back 
Where do we go? Because this doesn't do anything. I'm so confused. How do I get on top of the elevator? How do I get on top of the elevator? I'm trying to think. Because it, it needs to go down then. Okay, wait. I think I understand. I jump. Not like that. I don't jump like that. Oops. And then I go up. And then I open this again. <clears throat> I open this again, I get the key. top of the elevator but what does it do for me so if I now oh if I now get the elevator on top so now I can get the elevator here, right? And then I can jump on it. Thank you for the sub, Erlen. Er em Emlyn, I appreciate it. Like that, and then I jump on it. Maybe I wait a little. Okay, my bad. Chat, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm getting really impatient because I'm getting really hungry. So I'm going to get my meal prep real quick. It is downstairs um in my building so i have to go downstairs real quick so i'll be like five minutes maybe 
um because I'm, I'm getting impatient and i'm hungry um so i'm gonna put on some music um i'm gonna put on some ma too and i'm gonna get some food and then i'll be back and then i'll be fine oh i can't put on the music because my spotify is not working one second Let me restart Spotify. Just scored out of the other side of the wall it's been long. 
It's not the first time and it won't be the last Stuck between lost and found Take me out of this mood. Oh, I got it. There is this step on the heart. Point a finger on me. Oh, can't you see that I got me here? Inside the mist, don't you dare they say you walk around me? Oh, can't you see you're not even near? Okay, now I wait two minutes. Now I wait two minutes until it's done, and then I have food, and then we'll be good. How are you doing, chat? I, I'm, I saw two people. I never see my neighbors. And then I saw two people um, getting my food. And this lady asked me where the mailboxes were. And I gave her the worst description. And I felt so bad. But my brain just didn't want to work. I'm so bad at explaining as well. So I was like, uh, you just go, you just go one down and then you just go straight. And where the cars enter, you just go straight. And she was like, I have no idea what this girl is saying, and I felt so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. You know, the only way because my brain cells never are responding. My brain cells just don't respond when it's like needed, you know? Like, I could have made a friend. <laughs> But no, I had to give her the worst description to where to find the mailboxes. How we react anding while eating? Should I do that? We could do that. Is there any good videos we can react Andy to? Oh, I can hear the microphone. Let's see. Okay, one second. I'm going to get my food and then we'll see. Um, need to say it's bad. It is just Matu. It's only Matu. Okay, um, I don't know, my YouTube recommended has not been the best recently. Um, Do you see the steam? Oh my god.
Daily Dose. We can do some Daily Dose. I met Daily Dose um, at, at VidCon. He's, he's so sweet. He's such a sweetheart. He's just really nice to everyone. Oh my god. Oh! <laughs> oh, I remember. This was for the Sam and Kobe. There we go. There we go. Um, okay. Hello, Let's everyone. This is your daily dose of internet. Crisis. This poor cat had an existential crisis. Why are you doing this? He's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know why I'm doing this. She had no idea that this hawk landed inside of her house. That laptop is dead. That laptop is dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, the little guy is okay. Oh, no. oh, I saw this. I saw this on TikTok. This plane was delayed for 18 hours, so all the passengers gave up except this one guy who ended up getting the entire plane to himself. Loaded all the bags on the plane. How many, how many bags do you have to load today, bro? Total of one. Sorry. I'm focusing. Yes. I feel like at that point they would just shut it down, wouldn't they? I don't know, actually. I have never seen an empty flight. This dog is adorable. Okay, I'm just gonna do this video and then I'm gonna keep playing. I can eat while I play. Oh God. Now keep in mind that this delivery guy is only dropping off $20 worth of food. Next. Yep. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I just wanna say, it's a nice house for a $5 kit. You're welcome. Wait, what? This scientist wanted to see what raindrops what looked like mean? under a microscope. He found some pollen from trees, some bacteria swimming around in circles, and some very, very small pieces of plants. Ew. Why do they look so disgusting? God. It's still going. NASA just locked four volunteers into this habitat for the next 378 days. It's supposed to be a simulator for what a base on Mars would be like. The purpose of the study is to see how humans would be impacted from being on a base on Mars for over a year. I'm mowing my lawn, right? All of a sudden I start seeing this popping out. And I'm like, no, no. And then oh, I start hearing no. squeaking. And I start seeing the floor moving. And look, look at what there is. Look at what there is. It's no a little bunnies. baby bunny nest. This bear thought oh this pig God, was gonna so be an easy snack. Hurt. I thought it was a bird's nest at first. Oh my God. I think this cat is broken. <laughs> what is he doing? This is what oh, it looks silly. like when a single cell organism dies. Oh, silly. Yeah. Oh no, is this the grimace? No, it's not. Oh, oh my god, they're having a meal. That is the end of this video. Hopefully you have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Thank you. All right. I'm good chat. <clears throat> I'm all good. I'll just eat while I play. We love daily dose. Yeah. Okay. Now I know what to do though.
Man, this is my food. I don't think you like mushrooms. Open. And then we go down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was so close. We go down, we go back up. And then we take the elevator. And then we wait and then we jump on it. Oh, hello. I love your Hellboy hoodie. Thank you. Yeah, I'm glad I finally got it. I've been wanting it for years and I didn't know that they were selling it. So I'm glad I finally got it. I remember when it came out. Okay, and now... There we go, we did it. Very nice. These houses are so much like shorter and less dangerous than the first few. Uh oh. TV. Oh, he wants the sausage. Wait, what's this? I can't take it. happening what way do i go oh sorry i'm still wearing my crocs Ugh, there we go i can put my feet up on my chair uh, on my desk no on my chair not my desk the box is in the way Have I ever shown you guys my crocs?
I already lost one. But they have like little... Little guys. I think they're cute. Oh, I see. Wrong way. Oh my god. Really? Me? Having to jump up there? I did it. <clears throat> Sorry, I will speak more once I'm done eating. What am I eating? It's like vegan mushroom masala, I think it was called. It doesn't look that appetizing, but it's mushroom. It's pretty good. What is happening? Oh. oh boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. a flashlight but that doesn't matter oh honey are you okay sad. What is this? A shadow of man.
way back. We're getting closer though, I think. I think we are getting closer. Oh my god, we're so close. Oh my god, we're opening it. Oh! No! No, let me see what's inside. Oh! No, I don't want to see what's inside! Actually, I don't care. I don't want to know. Oh my god, it's Slender Man. Guys, it's Slender Man. What? Oh no. Slenderman can walk for TVs. Oh my god. Take her. Don't you dare take her. No. No. No, six. Oh my god. And now she's one of those. Thank you, Lehman, for the tier one. And she's gone. No. No, 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 no. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Please, I need to find her. I need to get her back. What the hell? I need to do something here. Do I just wait? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe I have to smash it. I don't know what that would do, though.
So he like he takes the children. Does he take them and bring them to the boat maybe? That's my thought. I can't get Huh? That scared me more than anything in this game. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Wait, what? What just happened? That scared me. Oh, wait, there's a chair. No, we can't. We can't move the chairs off. What the fuck? I can't play this game if it does that. That scares me more than the whole game. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so scary. I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Women <laughs> are so sad he defies physics. <laughs> that is awful. <laughs> Oh, no, this is just another one of those. I can't really do anything with these. I can't move any of these. Thank you, Hazel. <clears throat> well, stop. I appreciate it for the 22 months. No, I can't open this either. Oh my god, stop doing that! Why are you doing that? Why are you doing this? That's why I think I need to open this door, but I don't know how to open this door.
can't move any of the chairs. There's a chair here. But I can't move that one either. What am I gonna... Go into the TV? I don't think I can. Maybe I can move the TV though. No. I've been trying to touch the TV, chat. I can't. Look, this is what happens when I touch the TV. Nothing. I don't want to. What is going to happen? Okay. Okay, I guess we go through this TV now. They're all broken. We're traveling through them. Oh! I guess I can't hold on to that. Can I not? That looks like something I need to hold on to. No, I can't. Really? I'm just gonna put this on the other side. And then I can travel through it. Six. I want her back. Okay, you can't... Wh what the hell? Thank you, honey, Bumblebee. Like, that's so unfair. This game is very unforgiving. <laughs>
They're like taunting us. The TV is like taunting us. Oh my god. This person literally lost like like it's just clothes left. And before that they have like all of all the like stuff here. All the cutlery. Like, how do I do this? It's a bop though. Thank you, Jengst. Lol Jengst for the Prime. I appreciate it. Equip collected hats in the pause menu. Oh, I missed a few. Wait, is this how long the game is still left? We only have three? How long is this game? No. Okay. How much of the game is still left? <gasps> oh my god, wait, Mono has a face. Oh my god, chat. <laughs> There's a fly. Oh, I hate because it's so warm in California. Obviously, there are like so many flies. And I eat I eat watermelon every morning, which like attracts the flies. It's so annoying. Did I miss all of the hats? That's crazy. I didn't even know they were hats. <laughs> I don't know. I do think I need to move this, but I don't know how. Oh, I do know how. Okay. Oh, do I need to go all the way back again? Yeah, I do. Okay. That's not too bad. There we go. 
Very nice. Oh no, the cliffs. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, I think it's too late for her. It's too late. She did it. She already did it. She has already done it. Okay. So I do have to go through this TV though. But she's gonna kill me if I do. So how do I do it? off but what if she's gonna kill me oh no she doesn't okay oh. Oh, her face did you see her face I do wonder what they see. I want to know what they look at when they look at the TV. Oh, there's another one. And then... Turn this one off. Why? How? I did not expect that. I did not expect that. I really thought that he would stop. But like, that's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. Okay. Oh! 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 oh. No, 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 no. Go up! Go up! Go up! Go up! Oh my god. Okay, we broke one. Yeah, the music. Ew, it makes me so uncomfortable. What 
the hell? What is going on? This is crazy. I don't know what I did that for, but I'm sure. I'm sure I was supposed to do it. Oh yeah. Okay, so I have to... Mm. So I get rid of these planks and then I run to the thing and I turn it so that it dies. Okay. Yeah, of course. Because why not? Mushroom frog. Mona's getting very murderous lady. I mean, our friend is gone. They took our friend. The only thing we had in this world, and they took it. I understand. Not the trash shoot. Okay. <laughs> Why did we do this now? Wait, do I have to go back? Wait, 
did not ask. Wait, what? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So... I think I get it. I think I get it. Okay. I think I get it. So I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna turn off both. Of, uh, turn on both of the TVs. Then I go down in the elevator. I go through the TV to some at the top, and then no, I go. I call. Wait. Wait. Okay. So I open this. I turn on both of the TVs. So I turn this one on, and then I go up and turn the other one on. And then... Because I need to be on top. So... I need to go there, I'm pretty sure. So, I turn both of the TVs on. And then I go down. Wait, I go down and then I go back up and then I go through the TV and then I'm at the top. Right? No! Wait, no! No, 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 no. I go to the. Okay, wait. I think I know. I think I know. I go back up. I go back up, I go back down, I go through the TV. So now, I go back down. No, 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 no. Please let me jump. Please let me jump. Please let me jump on this. Oh. There we go. I do this. And then I go through. And then I jump on top. And now I can go here. Okay. I see. No, she broke the TV. Oh no, never mind. I turned the TV off. No, she did break the TV. Oh man. It's okay, chat. They're not human anymore. Empty. 
Oh, I'm gonna get some more water. And you should do the same chat. Especially if you've been here for, for a while. Go go get yourself a glass of water. So you guys stay hydrated. I will be right back. This is really heavy. <laughs> okay. I got kombucha and I got my, well, I got this chug, uh, the other chug jug. I tried to clean it, but it was just really awkward to clean. So I think I'm going to get a new chug jug. Because it was like moldy. <laughs> and I don't want to drink out of a moldy water bottle. <laughs> so I'm, I, I got this one for now. Because <laughs> this one I can see through. That is a lot of water. It's a whole gallon. Which is... Which is 3.78 liters. So almost 4 liters. And I try to drink at least, well, I try to drink one a day. I don't always do though. Like it's already almost 4 p.m. and I'm, I'm not even, I'm not even half. So I probably won't finish it today. But I try. When I play League of Legends, I, I try to drink like one glass, around, one or two glasses around. And that usually works. That usually helps me with staying hydrated. But I keep forgetting whenever I'm streaming. Uh oh. Wait. I can't press resume. Hi. Hello? Hi. Oh, there we go. Thank you, Lego Cola. About 13 months, I appreciate it. I need to do this. We're going shopping! Oh my god, chat, what do you want? I need a watermelon. I want a watermelon. Um, and I want... What else do I need? I don't know. Dino nuggies. I never had dino nuggies. Because I'm vegetarian. Alright, we, we try this again. Ice cream. Ice cream is a good idea. Thank you, Shaber, for the raid. I appreciate it. Hello, everyone. We're, we're actually going shopping right now, so let me know what you guys want. I got my shopping cart here. 
Um, thank you for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. Welcome, welcome, guys. We're playing Little Nightmares 2 right now. Who would have thought? Game physics. Um, no, I, I can't reach it. Okay. What have you guys been up to, Raiders? What have you guys been, been streaming? Can I have some cookies? We'll get some cookies. Sorry, I'm like like half focused. That's why I'm a little a little quiet. Um, can we have some kiwi? You're so funny. I'm allergic to kiwi. Hmm. I feel like we should be able to turn off the TV. Oh, 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 Maybe I need to get closer somehow? I don't know. Let's see. Hello? Okay. More water? Do we need more water than this? More water than this? I don't think I need more water right now. I think I'm good. I also still have my kombucha. I'm gonna finish this glass and I'm gonna drink my kombucha and then I'm gonna drink more water. I'm stuck. Good. Water mountain could go with the water. True. Okay, what if I stand on this thing down here? Will I then be able to reach the TV? No. Yes. Is that gonna... That's not going to stop the thing though, so maybe not? I don't know. Oh wait, what? Oh, I thought that was dry. That looked dry! Oh. Rude. Maybe I can get up here? Wait, maybe I can. No, I can't. Okay, that's so weird. Um, am I doing something wrong? If there was a drought, Nikki could save us. <laughs> For real. Oh, I can go here. Oh, oh. Uh, OK. 
Okay. My bad. I could have gone this way all along. Am I just able to leave? Oh no, I can't. I can't jump on this, on this uh, light. That would have been funny. All right, and now I can turn this off. And then I can just walk. Okay, never mind. I need the cart. The shopping shall continue. Never mind. No, I can't. Um. What? Oh, there we go. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Mona, you're so strong, you're so strong. Good job. Good job, little guy, little man. Very nice. Um, am I able? Okay, I'm gonna test this before I turn the electricity back on. No. Okay. Okay. This works. Now we turn the electricity back. But if we turn the electricity back on, we can't, we can't jump, what? What if we don't jump like here? I'm just gonna try. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe we can't. Mm. Hmm. I love your room. Thank you. I put a lot of work in it. I have a couch now, which is cool, but also for the people who don't follow me on Instagram, actually, let me show you. I have a couch, right? But um, I bought a beanbag because I was like, oh, I can I can have a beanbag. Beanbags are fun. And then I realized the beanbag is literally as big as big as my entire living room. So now, okay use these two pictures as your reference right this is the beanbag this is the couch there is no space <laughs> for the beanbag so i have it in front of my couch now but it's just it's just taking up all the space <laughs> it's because i didn't real i didn't american measurements confuse me and when I see an XL beanbag, I think, oh, surely 
that's not too big and then i look at the measurements and i have no idea what they say and i'm like it'll be fine and then they they delivered three bean bags to me right they delivered three like like the insides of a bean bag to me and one cover and i messaged them and i was like um i think i got too many things delivered to me um because i got three bean bags and a cover and the lady was like no they all go into the cover and they did all fit into the cover one bean bag in that size would have been enough one one bean bag in in the in the size of the three would have been enough that's my bad that's my bad i messed up now i have a way too big bean bag in my living room um and i don't know what to do with it but that's okay we'll figure it out i tried to putting it in this room but it's like way too big for this room <laughs> this book this room is way too small <laughs> Okay. I don't know. What to do here? Hmm. Um, I'm thinking I probably just go around. So I'm going to turn it on. And then I guess we'll see. My dogs stole my beanbags, but they destroyed them. Oh no. Yeah, my cats don't do that. Okay, so I'm thinking... We just go around. But how do I? No, I can't. this way okay don't mess this up nikki you have messed it up too many times we have been in this place for too long don't mess this up Try again. We try again. At least I know what to do now. Come on. Come on, Mona. You're so strong. Come on, you got this. 
Oh. Oh. Please. Please, Mono, please. Please, just pull. But just pull. You've done it once. You can do it again. Good job. Alright, we we'll test again. One, no, okay. Okay, and two. Okay, we can do this. Jump back, just for practice. All right. Very nice. Let's go. Oh, God. Nikki, if it makes you feel better, I have been watching people play only up recently, and when they fail, they fall so far back that they spend the next 20 minutes getting to back. Oh, where they chat! Were. Imagine me so playing at least only this isn't up. That, bad in relation. that would be the most frustrating thing you have ever seen. <laughs> if you think this is frustrating, imagine me playing only up. Woo. Oh, oh. <laughs> I couldn't handle it. I could handle it. I have patience. <laughs> Copium. <laughs> Only up, but every time I die, I drink. I don't even drink. <laughs> I don't even drink. So that would be, that would just be awful. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay, before I do this, I need to know where to go. Um Ah Ah okay Hi, Ethos! <clears throat> Happy 4th of July, thank you. Happy 4th of July. I don't, I, I don't, I don't even know what, what 4th of July is. All I've been told is that there's fireworks. Uh-oh, I think I gotta run. Why do they want me? Why won't they want why do they want me? Why me? Is it because I have the remote? It's the day we invented freedom. Oh. I see. Well, congrats. Congrats on freedom. Let me get you out of there. I will get you out of there. Oh my 
my god, six! Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, oh, I need to get her back. Wait, oh my god, wait, no, no, I think he's coming. Slenderman, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Slenderman. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, Slenderman. We're not friends. We're not friends. Chat. What's your okay? I'm gonna ask on Instagram as well because I'm so intrigued. But what is your recent hyperfixation? My recent hyper hyperfixation is really strange because it's nothing specific. It's just the horror genre in general. So I've been like, I've been looking at like different, just different horror things, like different. I've been I've been looking at horror manga. I've been looking I've been watching different horror films. I've just been really intrigued in like horror in general. Nothing specific. <clears throat> Thank you, Finn's Flowers, for the 22. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And thank you, Quakshe as well. For the 18. I appreciate it. I'm so dead. I'm actually so dead. Yeah, I messed up. That's my bad. It was too slow. Gen loss. Interesting. Spider-Man and Holder. Spider-Man, I, I, I get because of the new film. I haven't watched the new film yet. Oh my god, the controls are so annoying. Wait, I can't get up. I can't get up. I can't jump. Teleported the stool away. Did you see that? Wait. Uh. Uh. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait. Uh. Uh. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Stuart's in the back rooms now. It actually is. It's gone. <laughs> what is happening? This fucking game. I swear to God. First we're getting teleported back and forth and now this. What if I... I can't click in the menu. Um. Oh, I can use my, I can use my arrows though, my arrow keys. It's gone. Wait. Chat, what do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Uh... 
Um, okay, let's restart. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I said hello and he meowed at me. Oh, little baby man. Why is he laying like that? <laughs> Why he look like that? <laughs> little baby man. He's so cute. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, there we go. Okay, good. The stool is back. No, please, let me go up. And let me... No, let, please. The controls are so annoying. I really need a controller for this. This is so annoying. No. Please just let me do this. Why is this? Why does this have to be so hard? Like for no reason, for no reason. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. Come on. Oh my God. <sighs> Sorry, I apologize. But he has to, like, Mono has to put the stool just a tiny bit back whenever I... I'm, I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. Whenever I stop, you, like, pulling the chair, Mono has to push it back just a tiny little bit. I don't know why. It's just so important to him. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <clears throat> okay, I'm just gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go up. And then I'm gonna jump up. And then I'm gonna pull this. And then please just run. Thank God. You know, you just gotta complain sometimes. <laughs> you just gotta complain sometimes, and then it works. <laughs> Anyways, I apologize. Please, Slenderman. Slenderman? This is literally Slenderman. Doesn't Slenderman also do like the the TV statics thing when he gets you? Yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no.
I can't slide once again, of course. That didn't work. <laughs> I don't I don't know I don't know I don't really know what I was supposed to do there. Can you teleport? <laughs> you forgot to teleport. <laughs> Six. Six. What is happening? Oh no. <gasps> is he giving up? Wait, do I have to do something? I don't think I can. I'm, I'm pressing everything. Oh, okay. so strong I didn't know
six. Ace twenty six is in here. Oh my god. Whoever made this game is a genius. Nikki, at a certain point, I'm not sure if you just run into bugs or if you are actively trying to break every single game you play lol. Also, in the years I've watched you, I have not seen you rage at a game this much. It's almost like we're playing League. Wait. Uh-oh. to follow the music. That's so cool. That is so cool! How do I do this though? I don't want to go through it, that's the thing. There we go. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm so focused. I don't know which one's playing music, none of them is.
None of them is playing music. Oh my god! Anita, thank you so much for the raid! Hello everyone! Oh my god, I haven't talked to you in so long. I hope you've been doing well. Hi everyone! We're playing Little Nightmares 2 right now. We're pretty close to the ending, so if you don't want to get spoiled, I would recommend not watching. Um, but otherwise, welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Hi everyone. Okay, I think I need to go back now. Okay, we're following the music right now. At least we're trying to. We need to go into the room where the music plays. My hair is cool, thank you. Yeah, I'm very focused. Because I'm trying to find out which one of these rooms has the music. None of them do. Hmm. Oh, this one. Is this... This is Six's theme, right, chat? <gasps> what? Maybe if I give her something? Oh no, I can't leave the room. Oh. Don't tell me I have to punch her. she going against it? What is going on? I'm so confused. What? Why is she so big all of a sudden?
tower. Or is it like... I don't know, it's like whenever you... Like the longer you stay in here, the bigger and more deformed you become, maybe? Maybe she doesn't recognize me because I'm not wearing my hat. <laughs> I'm sure that's what it is. Oh. I think I need to hit it again. I don't want to. Storm. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, wow. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Take her to the door. There we go, I got it. Sorry about that, 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 that took long. I'm gonna drink my kombucha. Okay, 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 okay. There's an axe here. And we're back. The 
this time with four doors. Um, but how do I get... Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I have to go up that round. I'm like so focused. I just don't want to die again. <laughs> okay. Where's the axe? <gasps> Where's the axe? Oh, it's there. I spilled all my kombucha. Oh, one second chat, I need to get a towel. How did I even do that? I didn't even realize that I did that. I don't, how did I do that? I still have it, but like, I think it spilled over and I didn't realize. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I did it. Okay, 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 okay. If I... Here. Oh, um, or maybe the other side. Oh yeah, I call it on the other side, I think. Is it true that you kicked out Connery's pants from Bedrock MCC? What? What does that even mean? That I kicked out Connery's pants from Bedrock MCC? I don't know what that means. Actually, Connor actually slept in my hotel room at VidCon because I had two beds and because my plus one didn't come. My plus one was supposed to be Jago. Jago didn't end up going to VidCon. I don't know how 
how she can get me. So quick. Maybe that's not how it works. Um, Am I doing this wrong? Okay, chat. You can backseat here, because I don't know. Am I doing this wrong, or am I... Like, is, is this just really hard? Because I feel like I do this, and then I get the axe, and then I can go into the other portal. But, like, I can't get the axe before she comes back. There we go. Okay, I actually got it. Okay, I actually got it. I actually got it. perspective <laughs> oh man 
It's fine. First try. First try. I got this first try. Actually, try I've never done this before at this level. That's crazy. Wow. I've never seen this before. First try. Let's do it. Let's do it. First try. Whoa. First try. She's back. Oh my god, she's back. We found her back. Six. Are you okay? It's us, your friend. Oh. I went the wrong way. I thought it would be a cute, like. We see each other and then we run into each other's arms and hug, but it wasn't. She was just trying to survive. Fair enough. Oh my god, I literally thought, I literally thought that she was gonna let us fall. There's no fucking way this Oh my god. Oh my god. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have trusted her. When she ate that fucking child. No, that wasn't a child. Well, it was a child. There's no way. She's evil! She's evil! She is the true villain! She is the actual evil person! There's no way! Told you she was a psychopath! Oh my god! Oh no, I feel so bad.
like growing up. Wait, is he turning into Slender Man? Wait, is that why he was so strong? <gasps> what? confused What? Wow. Whoa! Wait a second! Maybe Six is actually not a bad person. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, chat. I need to pee. I'll be right back. Um, one second. Oh my god. One second. a lot to think about so so six knew and i guess tried to prevent it as you said sorry i need to read my lips real quick okay i want to watch i do definitely want to watch a lore video but i want to first know what you guys think about this i do my lipstick She is making true because six six made him sit there. Six made six is the reason why the guy exists. So six is evil. Oh oh my god. I don't have a mirror. I 
I feel betrayed. I feel betrayed. She's causing the loop. So it is a loop. Well, of course it's a loop. And that also makes sense why... Okay, wait. So the guy... So the guy... The evil guy... Trapped Six in, in the TV place. I can't explain it any better. And, but then Six turned into a monster. So maybe Six is supposed to be the monster, but because she doesn't want to be, that way she's causing the time loop. Because she's making Mono? I'm so confused. There's an after credit scene? Oh, really? I do still have the credits, credits running. And after that, we, we will watch... I'm sure there's like a game theory or something. I think Six tried killing Mono to prevent the loop from happening, but she failed. I do wonder though, if, cause I feel like Six had so many opportunities to kill Mono. Why did she wait until the end if she wanted to kill him? She didn't know till the end? Oh. Oh, okay. When she saw Mono's face. Oh, because he... That's... Ah, that makes sense because we took off our hat. That's what I was actually saying. Oh. But how did she know? What does she know that we don't? saw the face when he took her in the tv maybe yeah it was just a prank <laughs> sorry something just knocked on my door Or not? <laughs> it's Mono. <laughs> no, never mind. There was nothing on my door. Hmm. There's an after credit scene that you get only if you did a hundred percent. Oh, so we're not gonna get it. I'm gonna wait until the end of the credits to see if we maybe get it. We, we there's no way we got a hundred percent. We didn't even we got one hat. <laughs> and then we're gonna watch some theories. Because I want to know. I want to know some theories. I want to know what's going on. My mind is blown. I understand it a little bit. Like, I understand what the game is trying to tell us. But I don't understand anything beyond that. Oh my god. The music.
Also, I want to know what the ser the theories from one is. Do we? Okay. Because obviously this is a prequel to the first one. Do we watch theories to the second one first or the first one first? Or are there theories for both? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, I mean prequel. Yeah, the, the first one is a prequel. The second one is a prequel to the first one. One, then two. First one first. Okay. Okay, we will. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see. I'm sure game theory has done has done them. Um sorry, I got a message. Okay. Um <clears throat> let's um Little Nightmares <clears throat> Lore A complete timeline Full timeline Story explained But these are all like 10, mi ten minutes There's no way That this Whole thing fits into 10 minutes Right? What is the story? This is not my to explain. Chat, do you know a good video? That explains stuff? If I wanted to play a game, should I play in order or like prequel first? I would play it in order. I would play Little, Little Nightmares Little Nightmares 1 first, then the DLC, and then Little Nightmares 2. That's what I would recommend. Super Horror Bro explains things very well and has more than one video on it. Thank you. Super Horror Bro. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The Complete Little Nightmares Time Planet explained. I think we can watch that one. And then we can watch Little Night. Mm, it's half an hour. We'll see. We watched the first one. I I'm still waiting for the after credit scene. <laughs> I couldn't handle horror games except for FNAF. FNAF is the only horror game I can't handle. Because it's only jump scares. And I jump scares is the one thing that I just cannot do. There's a, also a mobile game called Very Little Nightmares that has more story. Oh! Interesting. I wouldn't know how to hook up my phone to my PC though to play it. So maybe that gets explained in the video. Zuko has just been laying in his cat carrier. Even though this is the thing that I used to get them to the vet. He's just laying in it. Little baby.
I think there's going to be a number three list nightmares. Ooh, that's exciting. We'll definitely play it. We'll definitely play it. Okay. The credits should be over soon. <laughs> it's a long credit scene. the after credits on youtube <laughs> i was i'm not surprised i definitely did not get the game to 100 percent um youtube little nightmares two after credits um a secret ending, that's probably what it is. Gamers react. <laughs> that's cute. Anyways. I think this is all the ending. Wait, this is just the ending. We didn't see this yet, did we? Whoa. I am also more confused. <laughs> I am more confused than before. What? Okay. We will watch. Okay, we will watch um the complete little nightmares timeline explained. Hey guys, Super Horror Bro. My by Super Horror Bro. Uh here. We will watch that. Like here, and in this video, we take a step back and look at the big picture as we attempt to set a timeline to the entire Little Nightmares universe. Please there have do. been three games in total Little Nightmares and its DLC, Secrets of the Moor, the mobile spin off, Very Little Nightmares, and yeah. a full fledged sequel, okay, so he, Little he will Nightmares explain, 2. He will explain All of these games nightmares. are connected, but how? Well, sit back, relax, and get ready for a guide through the events of these games in the order that makes most sense, at least to my mind. 
In addition to nailing down a rough timeline, this video will aim to contextualize various elements using theories that seem most logical. With all of that said, let us begin at the very start of this nightmarish tale, with the origin story Wait, found so within cute. very little nightmares. Released as a mobile offshoot back in 2019, Very Little Nightmares was a touchscreen puzzle game with a very different art style. It used hand-drawn visuals to tell the story of a character which at first glance appeared to be our heroine Six. Using this familiar character, players explored an old mansion built atop a tall cliff face in the middle of the ocean, a place known as the what? Nest. It is eventually revealed that this character is not Six, oh. her name is simply the girl in the yellow raincoat, a raincoat she eventually loses as she plummets to her death while being chased by a monstrous child known as the Pretender. We can clearly see from her haircut that this girl is not Six, however Six does feature throughout the game. Oh, a fellow prisoner- She loses her raincoat and then Six picks it up? Who ends up fleeing the nest alongside the girl in the yellow raincoat and escaping on a raft after her companion met a watery grave. Before the events of Little Nightmares 2, I had assumed Six acquired her iconic yellow raincoat after leaving the shore of the nest oh, aboard no, her didn't. raft and scooping it out of the we water, found it at, at then two. being picked up by the mysterious boatman character and taken to the moor, or perhaps simply washing up beside it and finding her way inside. This speculation is now proven incorrect. Yeah. How do we know Christmas? Little Nightmares 2 takes place in the weeks and months after the story of Very Little Nightmares? Well, there are several reasons to make this connection. If we look at the digital comics, which acts as a precursor to the events of the sequel, we see Six without raincoat and looking as if she just stepped off the raft at the end of a mobile game. She is captured by the Hunter, a haunting sight that her would-be companion Mono witnesses and seemingly the reason he sets off to free Six at the beginning of Little Nightmares 2. Now when this makes sense as well, why we just ran into a house and saved this girl. When we discover Six, there are several key points of interest found within her prison room. First of all, the music box, an item comforting her during mm -hmm. her imprisonment. We see a representation of this music box at the end of the game, Monster 6 holding it with extreme importance. In fact, the signal tower uses this box to corrupt and bind her to its spell. Although referenced in the first Little Nightmares game, this scene in Little Nightmares 2 seems to be Six's first introduction to the item and the reason for its hold over her. She connected with it as a coping mechanism during a time of great emotional trauma in her childhood. Oh also my god, Major stole Zuko's place. That is so rude. Poor little baby man, it's okay. Do you want to go on the country? So Chuck can see you? No, he says. Sketches on the walls, presumably the work of Six while being held here. The tally marks are easy enough to explain, they signify a passing of time, maybe days, weeks or months. Six has, after all, been here for a while. We also see Six has drawn an image wait, wait, of wait, the- Wait, 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 there's no- wait, but if we were saving her, how do we know that she's been here for so long? Oh, maybe she like tried to escape and then went back? Signal Tower, this drawing is almost an exact match for those scenes sketched by the bullies within the schoolhouse. To me, notice. this suggests the Signal Tower has already began calling to Six and hypnotizing her with its corrupt transmission, oh much God. as we see with the other wretched creatures of this world. In fact, later in the game, as the two adventurers pass by the tower, Six stares up at it as if under a spell. This may well be why she was so easily manipulated, distorted and corrupted while held prisoner within. The tower already what? held sway over her mental state. But most interesting of all, the sketches are for people we have seen before. People with their faces scratched out, as if to suggest they are now dead. The sketch on the far right represents a person falling. Remember back to the final moments of Very Little Nightmares, the girl in the yellow raincoat who fell to her death at the hands of the Pretender. It seems this sketch represents her. 
But then, what about the others? Well, for now, we must move on. But don't worry, we'll be back to revisit these sketches at the end of this video. I love the way you he speaks. You may be asking, what about the yellow raincoat? I, lo Why I did love six not, not just his accent, but the way he like, he like emphasizes words. But don't worry. <laughs> I love it. Key item if this game follows on directly from the events of Very Little Nightmares. This is actually fairly easy to speculate on. The main point to bear in mind is that while we see Six about to leave the shore of the nest aboard the Driftwood Raft, we never see her collect up the floating raincoat. It is therefore logical to conclude this raincoat took the same tide as Six and washed up ashore near the Pale City. However, unlike Six, it was not collected up by the hunter, but rather a denizen of the city itself. Eventually, its wearer was either taken by the signal tower, once again leaving the coat behind, or it was simply discarded. After all, these city streets are full of discarded junk at every turn. This is why Six finds it far from shore, yet looks on it as if it holds some connection to her previously, reminding her of the child who helped her escape not too long ago. One more thing that really connects Six to the events of Very Little Nightmares preceding this game can be seen by her uncomfortable demeanour while riding the floating door across the river mouth here. It makes sense when we remember she had recently escaped a traumatic experience within the nest using the exact same means, an escape method which led to her capture by the hunter. Um. Skipping to the end of the adventure, Six is taken by Thin Man and imprisoned once again, Thin this Man. time within it's the walls Slender of Man, the signal Thin tower Man. itself. Wait, Here, I kind of love distorted. that. It's not Slender Man, it's Thin Man? Oh my god. <laughs> the signal twists and corrupts Six in ways all too familiar to anyone who has encountered monsters such as Roger the Janitor. The signal tower uses Thin Man's power to warp and distort reality, which ravages the world and does exactly the same to poor Six. More importantly, it pulls from her memories to create a prison for her. While examining the items found within this room, many look eerily familiar. Again, we will revisit this concept at the end of this video. Oh. Mono eventually manages to cure Six by destroying the music box, an item, as stated before, which binds her to this monstrous form. This leads to the signal tower revealing its true form, a living mass of flesh made up from the bodies of those it consumes. While escaping, Mono drops behind Six Crazy. and she grabs his hand to prevent him falling, but decides in a cruel turn of events to let her friend fall. Most likely because she senses Six the dark- Six senses Mono's great power and in her darkness, a darkness the signal tower is quick to exploit. ...calling him from within and has witnessed Mono's dangerous powers, which she feels threatened by. Of course, Six unwittingly dooms the world by doing this. Mono is imprisoned by the signal tower and- This gives birth to a time paradox where the nightmarish world is created and a circle begins in order to solve the power is used to distort and warp the world throughout space and time. This creates a time paradox where Mono has always been Thin Man and so calls out to his past self so he may be freed from this prison within the tower and finally have a chance to break the cycle, saving the world and its inhabitants from this terrible fate. Wait, 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 wait. That's crazy. Six leaves the signal tower, but part of her now belongs to it. As seen with the glitching remains of the ghost children we find throughout Little Nightmares 2, her connection to Mono and the tower separates Six's soul from her body. Now incomplete, the loss of Six's soul leaves a great empty void, a void which must be satisfied. This is the birth of Six's hunger, a hunger we contend with throughout the very first Little Nightmares game, confirming Little Nightmares 2 is indeed the second game in the timeline and a prequel to the events of the original. We also note that Six's spirit energy looks down at a poster of the Moor, suggesting the TV Six exits the tower through is either aboard the Moor or she is given the idea to head there in order to gain access to the power she needs to be cured. 
powers she eventually procures from Sorceress the Lady. With this information in hand, the first oh game is pretty self-explanatory. It is the third in the timeline, continuing Six's story as her hunger begins to destroy her from within. The ending of Little Nightmares 2 also sheds light on a possible explanation for the shadowy figure of Six that watches over her each time she feasts. This is the I've half not of her loss that. after I've escaping not noticed Sigma that there was a tower. shadowy figure. This hunger requires soul energy to properly quench its thirst, replacing elements of the soul Six herself has lost. This explains why, in a cruel twist of fate, Six eats the gnome child and not the sausage it offers up to her. It also explains why, upon killing the lady and consuming her dark magic, Six then uses said power to drain the life force from everyone else aboard for more. She has become a monster herself, a monster with a never-ending hunger, sucking oh the life from God. anything that stands in her way. So, let's tie up some loose ends and wrap up this video. Returning to Six's chalk drawings in the hunter's house, and things suddenly click. Starting at the signal tower and working backwards reveals our timeline. It shows past and future, but not yet present. To explain, look to the far right, and we see events as they happen before Little Nightmares 2. The death of the girl in the yellow raincoat as she plunged to a watery grave. Then we see tally marks representing a passage of time. These lead to an empty gap. But why is this empty? Well, because it marks the current period of time for which the outcome is not yet determined. But perhaps this could be filled in with mono, like so. Moving on, we see another passing of time and then a drawing of the runaway boy and his gnome. This was the character found in the DLC Secrets of the Moor, which ran in sync with the events of Six's adventure in the original game. Another character who died by Six's hand as seen earlier in the video. Finally, another shorter passage of time and the death of the lady. This brings us bang up to date with the story of Little Nightmares as but we know it, and know? everything ties in to that image at the back of this room, the signal tower itself. What's interesting about the placement of the signal tower drawing is how it's sketched upon a different wall surface. To me, this makes oh, yeah, sense, as the signal that. tower exists on a separate plane of existence within time and space, a dimension where time is fluid and oh, past, the present and future are as one. This explains why we see items from Six's past and future within this same room. Take, for example, her suitcase from the mall. Oh, it doesn't exist you know in her what? memories. You might be right. The, the tower might be telling her. the story her. of Little Nightmares 2, but can still appear in her prison within the tower due to its ability to draw from events still to occur. Look to these portraits, for example, and again we see a timeline represented right to left. At the far right, we see Six as a child, cowering in her raincoat. Then, in the center, an image representing the lady, her face scratched away to represent her demise. On the left, we see a horrifying face, but one that seems familiar in a way. It looks similar to that of a granny found in the depths of a moor. I had theorized previously that this granny is what would eventually become of the lady as her powers ravaged her body over time. The pretender from Very Little Nightmares, the next in line to take the lady's place after she herself took the place of the previous granny. Again, it's all one big cycle. Oh my god. It seems god. as Six consumed the lady's power, she may be in for a similar fate, to become disfigured and monstrous over time. This portrait showing Six in the future. Whoa. Perhaps if Little Nightmares 3 does happen, we will witness this horrifying transformation. Unless Mono finds a way to escape his Thin Man fate and break the time paradox that is. One question remains. How is Six able to draw from memories of her future? Memories she shouldn't yet have access to. Right. Well, if we think about the names Six and Mono and what they represent in literal terms, we can jump to some logical conclusions. Mono means one, only, or single. This makes sense, as the origin of this terrifying world falls to Mono and his fate as Thin Man within the Signal Tower. There is only one Mono, and he is the ground zero event which triggers everything before and after. 
while running towards the door Finn Man is trapped behind, if we pay close attention, we can see the number 6. This suggests that this door is number 6, and therefore the 6th cycle within this paradox. If so, then 6 has her name due to being the catalyst for this particular cycle. She triggers the events that doom this world each time when handing over Mono to the Signal Tower's control. If this theory is correct, then 6 is simply the 6 of her kind, with 5 prior versions existing in different failed timelines. So, with this concept in mind, we can conclude Six may retain faint memories of her five prior incarnations. How do people even of come up with this? Of course, this is a stretch, but this is the only way the rest of this theory makes sense, and why else feature the number six on the door here, and use such numerical terms for both protagonists? Either way, that head-scratching conundrum brings us to the end of this video looking at the timeline of the Little Nightmares universe. I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, remember oh to leave a like, God. comment down below, and of course subscribe for more horror-related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Whoa, oh sorry. Whoa. I mean, it makes sense if that's real and true. I actually have watched some of his videos. Um. Wow! I can't even wrap my hand around that. That's crazy. I. Okay, when does Little Nightmares 3 come out? When does Little Nightmares 3 come out? It hasn't been officially confirmed released yet. Release date yet. Sag. Okay, well, I will play the third one though. Oh my god, my mind is blown. That was crazy. Anyways. This is the end of the stream now, chat. Um... If you are new here, by the way, leave a follow if you want to see more content. Um, the next thing we're doing, uh, I don't think we're going to do that tomorrow, but hopefully before I leave for TwitchCon, I am going to play bad Steam horror games. Um, and I'm really excited for that, actually. I haven't fully looked into it yet, but I kind of, I think it would be really funny to play like just bad horror games that are on Steam. <laughs> I think it would be really funny um but yeah that was it for today thank you so much for watching chat i really appreciate it um look how good my makeup held up i've been doing a new makeup routine um where i basically just douse my face in setting spray and i don't look tired normally after stream like if you look at the the start of a stream versus the end of a stream i just look exhausted but today it actually held up pretty well and i'm really proud of that that's really nice <laughs> anyways let's see who we can raid <clears throat> so thank you for all the subs today i really appreciate it uh thank you for everyone watching today i really appreciate that as well um it's been very nice it's been very fun uh it's been very cool to see everyone here um Obviously, if you are in America, I hope you have a good 4th of July. I hope the fireworks don't bother you or your pets or family too much. Um, let's see what we can raid. There's not too many people live, actually. Um, who should we raid chat? Jonas? We can raid Jonas and raid jonas um jonas is playing diablo go ahead and give jonas my love uh and other than that i really appreciate you guys being here i really appreciate you guys watching and i hope you all are having a wonderful morning evening or day wherever you are and i will see you in the next one